Lincoln. Thank you all for those of you that did come. I hope you leave satisfied this evening. Um, everyone here from, oh, I see uh, Telehis is here. Uh, rest of the brothers, uh, you all from this Jacksonville? Uh, who do we have here today? We have any Christians? Just Muslim? All Muslim? I'm asking because I want to know where to start from. Christian? Nubian? All right. We have any other denominations? Well, we have, uh, it's customary that I allow people to ask me questions so that you get an understanding of what you know. Um, and in the course of you asking me questions and I answer them, then you, that will let you know whether I'm genuine or not. There's so many things that has to be done by you. And if you are not aware of it, you can't do it. Now, since I know what has to be done, it's my duty to inform you as to what must be done. And if it's reasonable to you, then provide a means for you to actually do it. We've been living under uh, spookism so long. We think that it's going to be done for us or God's going to build this righteous kingdom. God himself is going to do it. Uh, in essence, that's true. Meaning that he's not going to allow anything to be done or built without his permission or his direction. However, you're the one that's going to build it. If I was just going to build something for myself, I would go in my own universe and build it. I wouldn't be redoing anything or getting you back in touch with yourself. I would just start from zero like the original God and go forward. However, the original Allah asked me to do this for him. This is why it's written about a new God or a new coming into being. It's in the Bible. It's in the Quran. This means it has to be a man or an individual that actually is the new. Not know about it and try to bring it in. He has to actually, have to actually just be that. So he can't make no mistakes in what he's doing. Uh, no possibility of him going backwards or being persuaded by some other force or idea. So if this is the case in which it is, we can be extremely successful. Don't be dismayed at what you're looking at. Don't let your eyes deceive you. I am not a liar. If you know anything concerning my appearance when I would come, you would know I'm exactly the way I'm supposed to be. I'm not doing anything in a way where I'm surprising anybody now or doing something new that wasn't written. You first have to go back to the manual to see if the timetables actually is adding up to bear witness that I am who I am. You've got to have some type of basic to start from. To the Christians it's the Bible, although they don't understand it. However, when they come before me or I come before them, I give you the exact or complete understanding of what's written. And your own makeup will bear witness to what you're hearing is true. Now, I am nothing like what society say that I am or should be. If that were so, then it would be an error or a mistake where it was put in the Bible that your thoughts are not mine, your ways are not mine. So if that is true, nobody could really write about me as who I really am. They could write what I said I'm going to do because I told them. Is this making sense? Yes, sir. One thing we're going to have to do, black man, is think. This is something you haven't been doing for some time. Regardless of how much you call yourself thinking, usually your thoughts are instructed or you get them from your enemy. If they don't tell you how to think on it, they tell you what to think on. And what you think on is always to your, your destruction. It either benefits him. If it don't, he don't allow you to think on it. This is one of the, he's so upset with, with, with the minister. In the beginning, at least. I was just sitting in the rear thinking to myself. Usually you see uh, quite a few people around the minister. Because of the threat that he poses to our open enemy. He has quite a few people around him. I, I don't have no one around me. 
maybe one or two, and that's from their own permission. They won't just let me go by myself. However, I'm protecting them. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I hope the minister that spoke to you all in the beginning gave you an idea as to exactly what is taking place. This is your planet. This is your universe, for real. It's yours. When the original Allah had this created, or he created it, and you aided him, it's yours by nature. By design, it's yours. And the only people that can take it back is you. I'm providing a way that in your process of taking it back, I keep the devil off you. I don't let him come and do anything to you that will deter, deter you or stop you from your work. Because the work isn't against white people. That's not what it's about. The work is coming back into being God. If you were a live God, it would be no need for me. It would be no need for the lessons that the messenger shared with us. And those of you that are young or did not get the opportunity to actually come under the messenger's message or teaching that he taught us or gave us, we have our elders or the ones that came under him that do know the lessons. They may have forgotten how wonderful they felt when the messenger was with us. But a few words from me, and if they were for real, it touches their nature. And they know I'm here to make what the message, what the message is and what the messenger said, law. This means I have something for you to do. That belongs to you. You're not doing it for me. You're not doing it for someone else. You're doing it to be in accord with nature and to bring in existence what's in your mind. That's right. We brought into existence what was in our mind that was wrong. But this is how we did it. Since we didn't want to be the one to actually do it in our person, we we're so wise, we made a people to do it for us, and we watched them. Are you listening? I'm telling you what happened. This whole thing has been a plan. There is nothing in creation that takes place without Allah doing it himself or permitting it. So if he didn't do it himself and just permitted it, he had to have known about it. So if he had to have known about it, then if it happened, he had to say, okay. It's not that it happened and now we got to struggle to get out of it. No, you got to do what it was designed before we even permitted it to happen. When we see what we, what we were going to bring about, then we also drew up the escape. Perfect escape. So when it got time for us to implement it, all we had to do was follow the plan. However, all of you all that were actually under the foot of this enemy dealt with you in such a way you never thought it was no plan. Yes. Especially for you. Because he was operating on the God level of negative. We have to operate and you operate in your true operation on the God level of positive. Now, if both of you are operating on positive, it wouldn't be no such thing as two gods or two different people. Yes, sir. You just be one people. Yes, sir. We gave up our authority for a time. Not forever, just for a time. And we had it written how long it would be. Most things that is written, we gave it to the devil straight out. White people. He changed it. We allowed him to have dominion over everything. That means also the pen and the ink. We gave him the right to distort the truth if he so will. So he put everything in codes. So he can say when I asked him, why didn't you tell my people? I told them. But it's coded. You see? Now I come along before I ask him this. I come along and decode it. And see how many of you really want to be yourself as for what you were created to be. Or how many of you actually love other self. From this tour, I've been finding quite a few people that does come to the meeting. Those that won't come, 
don't think there's no need to come. Really love this white man. You speak out of one side of your mouth as though you hate him. However, when it comes time for you to take one step that will separate you from him, then the person or the reason or the circumstance that's asking you or de demanding you to do that, you get an opposition. Yes. From you. So we are finding out that you love this man. However, I don't blame you for it because it's our nature. We are love. However, when you're dead, emotions overrules your mind. When you wake up, or I bring you alive again, then it's mind over matter. You do what has to be done, whether you like it or not. What has to be done, not what you want done, not what could be done, not what should be done. If it must be done, that's what you do. Because not I say it. All of the laws and principles of creation dictates it to you. It's like you have a fire burning. Or it's easy. If someone has a, an electric stove and they've had the eye on. And then you turn it off. And it's been off long enough for it to assume its original color. And you look at it. Or somebody walks in and they don't know it was on. When they go to put their hand over it, they see right away. It may not be on now, but this is dangerous. Come back. You must not touch that. That's a must. If you do, you're going to pay the consequences. This is the same thing here. What has to be done has to be done. You've got to get away from white folks. And I don't mean get away from them in the bodily sense. The way I uh, uh, carry on my meetings or when I do speak to people, since I'm a law, I'm a law to everything and everybody. Everything. I'm not just a law to black people. It's just that you are more capable and more equipped to be personal with me and my thinking than anybody else in and on the planet. Now, white folks come in or they be with me if I'm in their midst or whatnot. We speak or we do what we have to do. I'm not angry with them. However, I don't think the way they think. So their physical presence next to me don't bother me. This is the same thing with you once you wake up. When you wake up, black man, there's nothing to fear other than your brother. Because there's nobody else powerful enough to do anything to you. When you wake up. You don't have to spend your time talking or worrying about white people. Yes, sir. You don't have to waste your time. I'm here to actually cause you to literally realize this. I look like nothing. That's the way it's supposed to be in the beginning. And as I develop and bring you with me, we all will start to look like who we are. And it'll be just the same as when I, I or you or the man in deposits his sperm into the dark womb. It's there. Nobody sees it. The only person knows it is you and the mother of the child if the sperm makes it. And she don't know it right away. So it's the same thing now. We're getting started from nothing. Our object is to take back what belongs to us. That's the right thinking. That's the only thing that belongs to you. The right thinking. And if you've got the right thinking, everything else submits to you, even the open enemy. So this is why I have it well known, it's already documented, that I, being Allah, will take your enemy and make him your footstool. He's under your foot. But he'll like it being under your foot because you're just God. I'll say that again. There are two different gods, one of righteousness, one of unrighteousness. We have witnessed the unrighteous one because we've been under his foot voluntarily. This was a plan of ours. We started 50,000 years ago to get ready for this. It wasn't even a thought in the scientist's mind 
He wasn't ours. But in the scientists' minds, he wasn't even a thought until 8,600 years or 400 years before year 9,000 of this calendar history or of the history of 25,000 years that we usually write our history. I'll say it again because I don't want to be confusing to you. We usually write our history before I came 25,000 years in advance before we actually lived it. Now, if I said that the God knew 50,000 years about this man, what we were going to make, the scientists couldn't have known. If they did, they would have wrote about it in the other 25,000 years. They didn't. They didn't even know what we were thinking until 8,600 years or 400 years before the 9,000 year. Is that confusing? So they couldn't have known. Only the gods knew. What I'm doing is showing you this is our plan. This is our plan. Now we have to take it back. Everything that belongs to us, we got to take it back. And the only way you can take it properly and keep it has got to be from the power of the mind. Any other way. If you take it by force, any other way, somebody else will come and take it from you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's not too many people actually know me. And their thinking is so far from what I really am and what I do. That when you hear about me, it's almost like this is unbelievable. This can't be true. I'm not even going to waste my time. And most people up until now are losing. You think you know Jesus or you think you know Prophet Muhammad or you think you know the messenger or you think you know Allah. But look where you are. Even those of you that are in the temple. The temple is one place. What happens to you when you go home? I'm not just Allah in the temple. Matter of fact, I don't even go to the temple. Really? I don't, at this particular time, and I hope you understand what I'm saying, and, and you know, we, I'm opening up in a few minutes, you ask me questions. What good would it be for me to visit you in the temple? And I'm the all in all. That's just a place where you go and commune with your brothers and sisters. I'm not there. If I'm there, you take me there when you go. I'm everywhere where there is right. That means I'm in you. I'd much rather see you digging a ditch that's going to drain the water off your farmland than I can come into you and give you the strength to make sure you complete that task. I'd much rather do that and meet you in the temple. Think about it. We did it for white people. We taught this man how to build a bridge across the water. He didn't know. A black man told him. That's right. He wasn't in the church shouting up and down about Jesus. That's right. Down here in this state, usually about every month or every two months, we gave this man the knowledge to go out into space. They're not in the church jumping up and down. What I'm saying is, if you want something done, it has to be done from the right knowledge. The right knowledge. Yes, sir. Now, to make this Caucasian successful as what he has been, we gave him the nature of devilishment. However, he had to develop it. He had nothing to develop his devilishment with. So we gave him the monetary system. Capitalism. We gave him an object that would make him think so he could perfect the trick. You think about it. So the harder he thought on how he was going to get this money, since money, the idea of it, is nothing but tricks. It's an illusion. So this helped him to develop his nature. And he loves it. So much so he wrote, the love of money is the root of all evil. Because it makes him think. 
how can I trick you? I'm still thinking. Now, in order for us to break this and we get back what belongs to ours, what must we do? You've got to think right. And the only way you can think right, you've got to think like me. And it's already prophesied that your thoughts are not mine. So until I showed up, I don't care how much you were thinking, they were in error. They could not get you to the goal that you were seeking. They might show it to you, but you could never reach it. Just like the blue in the sky, you can't never reach it. I just want you to think. I'm a powerful, powerful man. Because I love thought. And I love all of the energy that is afforded to any individual that knows how to use it to make your thought a reality if you know how to use it. And this is why it's written. We had it written already in the Holy Quran that nothing in the universe did Solomon have to answer to. No one or nothing. So for me to be styled as Solomon, even that's correct. Although my proper title is Allah. Now, if someone can come other than Allah and don't have to answer to Allah, something is wrong. If it's written in the holy book, in the holy Quran, that Solomon is the only one, not Prophet Muhammad, not Elijah Muhammad, not the minister, only Solomon don't have to answer to nothing or no one in the universe. You think about that. If you're using your math, that will let you know this man named Solomon in this fullness of time has to be a law. If I wasn't, I would have to answer to somebody and that somebody would be the supreme being. I would have to answer. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Unbelievable. If you're confused, you'll be able to ask me a question in a few moments. I want to thank you again for coming out. And the reason why I'm thanking you, you seem to have a, a look on your face as though you may be interested to some degree. So if you are, when you leave, you will take with you what you're asking of me. And you won't forget me so quickly. And believe me, the more that you can remember of me, meaning the way I think, the more successful you will be at being at peace of mind. Now you can take some of the things that I say and apply it in your home and in your everyday life and you will see it will give you relief immediately. However, it's not going to put you in paradise. You still got to build that. Nothing that this man has is agreeable to us in the form of our nature. I don't care how fine it is. I don't care how beautiful it looks. There is something about it that rubs you the wrong way, even if it's nothing but the person there that's keeping it or that's overseeing it. Just the way they greet you or treat you as though you're an object. Everything that is of nature you may like, but the person that's in charge of it, you're going to find something that you don't like. So this means you've got to build your own. If you're the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet, and then God of the universe. So since I'm here, no prophet, nor minister, no one other than myself can have this kingdom built. What stops them is the lack of knowledge. Whatever phase or facet or fraction of knowledge that you have gone off into and brought to your mind a pleasure, that's a fraction. I'll accept that. Because first you're a fraction, then you become a whole. Once you get with me, you cannot remain a fraction. I hope you all understand. Sisters, uh, you all perform a great role in the bringing in of this new kingdom. Just in the sense that if you stand with your man, for real, I have found it to be a very difficult thing for the sisters to actually stand with their man, especially while the man is making a transition from being dead to life. 
You think you know him. And the nigga is not going to change. Or now he's lost his mind again and gone off on another fad. So every time he makes a step, you're trying to make two steps to make sure he don't make the one step. And when, you, when he turns to me and you conduct yourself in that manner, you have him against you and also me against you. And you're not going to win. Yes, However, if you question him like you are capable of doing, because you most certainly are capable of questioning whoever you want to question thoroughly if you so the will or so desire. If you question him right, then you'll see if his nature is speaking back to you. What he stepped into belongs to him and he's not going to give it up. And you see so for real to him, you'd be less than wise to compete against that. I'll say it again. This is nature. When I'm dealing with the black man, I'm dealing with your very nature, how you were created. This way I don't make no mistake. I don't care about your feelings. Well, that changes. You may look at me and be mad as hell with me. I hate it. Arr. The next 10 minutes, he says, oh, I made a mistake. The brother's okay. You see, that changes. But the truth don't. Yes, sir. The only time what gives you, what determines whether the truth is powerful or not is the timing of the use of it. While we were under the foot of this devil and we come up and want it to be truthful and try to make that truth alive. And if it was out of time, if it were not in the time of that 6,000 years, you got killed. One of the greatest men that we had as our brother is a witness to that. Jesus. He killed him. Then you have another man coming up that all of us, all of you all thought was great. He was a great orator. He wanted things right. He wanted to include all of man and mankind. He got killed. Martin Luther King. The only man of God that was of God, or that is, that did not get killed because he was in and on time is Elijah yes. and then when the minister stepped into his footsteps regardless of how many enemies hated him they still can't do nothing to him because he was on time and the only thing that they can do to him now is kill his character they can't kill him physically because I won't let him do it so what I'm saying, when you are operating in time, if you know the time, and you have knowledge, and you move out right, can nothing happen to you other than success. Are you all understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I hope some more show up so you all can have a good time talking to each other. It would be a sin for me to know what I know and not be able to bring it into existence. If you could imagine... What it, would it be like to know everything? Now let me preface that. I don't know what you ate this morning or this evening. That doesn't concern me. If I got to know, I know how to find out. But to say that statement of knowing everything, everything that is real, that came in the creation of the creation, I know. And there has been nothing or no one powerful enough to break one law of the creation. Yes, sir. So if that is true, and it is, it doesn't behoove me to know anything less than what we made the creation with. The laws of that. So if I know all the laws, all the principles, I know everything. It don't make sense to me. You think about it. This way I don't have to carry no baggage or falsehood around with me trying to remember it. Everything I know is right and exact. It's real. This is why I can come out and don't carry no notes. I ask you, ask me what you want to know. Whatever you want to know, you ask me. There's nobody telling you to write your questions down and we censor them. We don't do that. Yes, sir. 
It makes no difference to me who's in the audience. Make no difference. The mic is free for you to come and ask questions. If I didn't know everything, that would be a foolish thing for a man to do. Because more than likely, sooner than later, I would be seen to be a fraud. Think about it. Now, we've had brothers to come down south to let everyone know that God himself would be showing up. Usually, very few people come out because they just cannot believe that. God coming here? What's he got to come here for? Why don't he just snap his fingers and get rid of all this stuff? If I did, that means you got to go too. Yes, sir. <laughs> You'd have to go too. If you're thinking just like our enemy, you can't think no other way. You may think in your mind, I don't like him. However, when it comes to building anything for yourself, you've got to think like he's taught you to think. Yes, sir. So when I snap my finger, you'd be gone with him. You see? So very few people come out because of disbelief. Now, I was told, and it adds up, if I were light, pretty near white, then quite a few people would be out. Because that's what he's made you to believe in your subconscious mind that God would be more likely to be. But a black man, and especially saying something about the nation of Islam or having a nation of Islam, it's almost gotten to be that Islam is a dirty word in this country. Is that for my own people? Stay away from them people. But where are you going to get it from? If you're going to make the change, what entity in life has presented itself to you that has made a change or that is making a change? Not one. Not one. And we had an assortment of leaders that came together with a million of their brothers, Washington, D.C., and when the whole thing was over, there still was no answers. Yes. Everybody was invited except me. They talked about me, but they wouldn't invite me. Isn't that something? A million people looking for God, but rejecting him. You might say, well, the million didn't know about you, Brother Solomon. The million didn't have to know. The one that called the million knew. Yes. And still knows. I'm just saying this for thought. It happened. Where are you because of it? Do you have more stores and you have your own bread now? You have your own milk? Well, I wouldn't invite you to drink milk anyhow. What do you have that is of yours? Other than the remembrance of a feeling that I allowed to take place. I allowed it. I didn't force it. Just by you being a black man yourself and coming together with that type of purpose, you produce that type of spirit. But you gotta have more than spirit. Got you. Spirit is another emotion. It comes and goes. You are the generator of it. For real. You put a record on, and uh, if you like it, you start to pat your foot and you're jumping up down, your spirit is up. Somebody else come along and put another record on, you don't like it, your spirit is down. So it comes and goes. So you've got to have more than the spirit of the Million Man March. You've got to have the essence of what produces that type of spirit. And the only way you can have the essence has got to be in me. And for you to recognize it, it has to be recognized from knowledge. Not looking at your brother and having a loving feeling from your heart that you experience it for that moment. As soon as you pivot and go into your own particular home or way, you're leaving your brother. And you have no one else to help you to generate it so you can only remember it. However, if you got the proper knowledge, because whether you pivot or stay, it's always there. Yes. Always. 
And when you step forth to build what you want for you, even if we take this hotel over and we run it, we are people, people. We're not people things. We don't, it don't thrill us to take care of things for the express purpose of having something looking good. We take care of it for the, another person to come in and enjoy themselves from it. So when the person comes in, you speak to them, especially here in the South, we walk around, how you doing? And you go to the North, they don't do that. <laughs> you know, because the white man has gotten them away from being people, people. What I'm saying is, whatever you get that is yours, or whatever we take and make it ours, we can only express it in our nature as though we are dealing from one person to another person, not us, the thing, and the person. You see? And when a person comes in that is disrespectful to you or to your property, we always, the Muslim, the man that has the knowledge to know how to control things, always confronts the person in such a way that we change him, especially if he's one of us. Because in him, he has that ability to be God. He has the ability to see what you see. What will determine how severe you deal with him is the time that you would have. If you want to have a few minutes and he's got to stop doing what he's doing, then you apply that type of force. If you got enough time where you got a day or two, a week or two, a month or two, you deal with him according to the time. But you know he's going to turn. This is what I'm doing with you all. At the same time, I'm knocking Whitey's socks off. I am. I'm letting him know, which he already knows. I'm just reminding him, like we had the minister to remind those ones that was with the messenger, and remind him, because the messenger was the messenger of Allah to them all. That means also he was the messenger to white folks. Most of us just want to think, well, he was a messenger to the Muslims. He wasn't. He was a messenger to everything and everybody. And white people studied the message. They studied it. To trap you up, the righteous. And they did a pretty good job of it. Now I'm here. So to let him know I'm here, I didn't lie to him about the time we gave him. I'm not lying to him about what I told him and had him to write it down. So if he forgot it, all he had to do is go back and read it. What I'm going to do to him? And you can't say I'm not doing it. You might say, well, it is not me because you don't know. But you can't say it's not being done. We won't let it rain on his crops. We won't let the planes take off. We won't let the trains stay on the track. We won't let them get along in Congress, in the government. And let's not say, well, that's, you shouldn't do that. I can't be a liar. I told him what was going to happen before it happened. Now, if I changed my mind and didn't do it, that very act, that one act, would prove that I'm not God. I would have to do it regardless. Even if he turned to do right. I would just put him in a safety zone. However, I would still destroy what I said I was going to destroy. In our lessons, how many have lessons that was from the messenger from the Muslims? What do you all don't have it? Well, the lessons are, is a manual that was given to the Muslims from the messenger. It really came from me to him. And from him, he shared what I gave him to the ones that wanted to follow him. And it's a manual to what is to take place for the black man and the awakening of him. That's why I let you know how much the earth weighs, how big it is, how much water, how much land, how high the mountains are, many different things. So you will know what belongs to you. And it was told to you to wait until I come so I could give you the manual on how to use it. He just gave you a message to let you know what belonged to you. Is this boring? No, sir. It's imperative that you follow the train of thought that I'm sharing with you. It's, it isn't something that I'm making up. This is what has happened, happening, and going to happen. If you know there's power in knowing, when you go to rest at night and close your eyes and wake up, you're going to wake up with a better sense 
a better knowledge than what you went to sleep with. This, so when you see things take place, it gives you an ability to make certain moves that you wouldn't have made in the way of safety. If you already know what's going to happen, if you don't know, and you know you can go get the book where it's written and read it, then you say, oh, I know what he was talking about. It's written and it's happening. So now, what must I do? What you must do is get in touch with me as soon as possible. Not me, fleshly per se, but what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And see where you fit in it. You got a spot that belongs to you. It's yours. By nature, not by choice. It's yours. If you don't choose it, or if you don't take it, then you become the loser. Not me. Does that make sense to you? Yes, sir. Do we have any questions that you all would like to ask of me? I want you to feel free. I'm not a God to come to put you in boundaries. You're already there. I come to break you free from them. You're already in boundaries, even in your mind. You can go to the mic if you like. In other words, we, we, we like for it to be on the mic so we can get on the tape. These meetings are taped so you can purchase the tape and take them home and do what, do what the, your enemy does. He gets my tapes and he takes and dissect them. He really goes through to see where he can find a flaw or not. He's hoping that you don't dissect it before him. So he can put the trick on you to keep you from ever doing it. This is only simple math. If your enemy expects to be victorious, he got to know what you know. And then try to know something that you don't know about what you know. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. I heard that you, um, listening to you, I, I heard you mention about the Million Man March and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I'd like to ask, um, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, he has said on many occasions that this call that he made for the million black men actually um, was a call that came through him from Allah. If it is true, and if you are a lot in person, then why would the minister, as you call him, have to make the call and not yourself? Why would he have to invite you um, to come? Also, uh, I have one more question, but if you'd like me to wait, I will. Okay. Also, um, the messenger has taught us that uh, Master Farad Muhammad came July 4th, 1930, in the person of Allah. We're spe I'm, I'm speaking on when you were talking about the time, and what if if you are in the sorry, if you are in the person of uh, of Allah, if you are Allah, then what was the purpose for Master Farad Muhammad to come and make himself known to the messenger as Allah? Thank you. You would like to know the answer to that? You know, uh, I'm anxious about getting into the seat of power. Because those very simple bits of knowledge is very vital to your step forward. Uh, maybe you should have let the sister sit on the side. She might want to ask something else. You know. <laughs> Once this can be administered from the seat of power and you get this knowledge very quickly, we can make the proper steps forward. What's holding you up now is why are there two, seemingly two leaders talking about the same thing? <laughs> In our lessons, it lets us know that Islam is math and math is Islam. In the Bible, it reads that the truth, know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. 
They didn't say no me, Jesus, no other minister. If you know the truth, if you know it, it means you got to use man to bear witness to it for you to actually know it. You got to use it. The same thing with this. If you're going to talk about God and what God is doing, it has to fit the time and the character of God or Allah. Has to. If you can't prove it mathematically, then you might be close. But close isn't good enough today. You got to be right and exact. Because this is what Allah is to be, right and exact. Not good. Not pretty near. Now, let's look at it this way. You ask the question, well, if I really am Allah, why would the minister have to invite me? First place, because you don't know me. The masses of the people don't know me. However, they do know Minister Louis Farrakhan. And it is well known mathematically if Allah is going to deal with his people, he always goes to the ones that is representing him first before he starts with the people or the masses. That's a law. That is a law. That actually took place. I went and spoke with him twice. However, the minister has the same thing afforded to him as everybody else. A right to accept or reject. Now, I didn't call, nor did I tell him to call for a million man march for the mere fact, especially if it is to be held at the seat of your enemy. And for the reason that it was said that the million man march was called for an atonement, that's against math, according to Allah. No man, no man, atones to me for treating his woman bad or wrong. He don't do that. I don't require that of him. He is the first person that's in the creation after my self-creating self, self-creating self myself. Next is him or he not she. So if there is any atonement to be done, it should be his relationship between he and I, the two of us, not for what he has done to what I gave him. I want you to listen because it requires mathematical thinking, not your feelings. I'm not saying that you are less than man or that we should look down on you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying this. Mathematically, God deals with first, first. Not two. Two is a dependent number. It would never exist if there was never a one. If the man has sunk so low that he's treating his female wrong or his wife wrong or his mother, however, his opposite, if he's treating them wrong, He's gone out of the favor of God between him and God, not him and you. In other words, you ask me why I'm, I'm attempting to show you mathematically how it wasn't from me. We must remember, regardless of how painful this may seem in your ears while you're hearing it now, there are two gods on the scene. One positive and one negative. Which one, which one is speaking to you? How would you know which one instructed you on any particular given event? How would you know unless you use the formula that I gave the messenger to give you? Math. If you don't use it, you will end up following a person. And if the person that you're following it isn't using it, you don't know it because he's never taught you to use it. So he looks good. Because you don't have the right tool or the right glasses to see him in. He hasn't given them to you. And when the God himself steps up to put in law 
the message that I gave the messenger and then the reminder of the message when I step up to do it if the one that you've been following has not been using the math then right away you start to check me out as though I'm wrong it looks that way to you you're not using the formula I as being Allah would be a fool after all of the writings that I would have the messenger to write that we as a God don't march we don't do that you gain very very little by that practice we allowed a man that thought that this would get us freedom by the name of King his name was King he carried that out to its fullest we allowed that to happen to show the righteous man don't make that mistake we have clear evidence that's not the way God wants it to happen. The message states that up, oh, you mighty nation, you can accomplish what you will. What you will. What do you will, black man? Do you will to follow a person or do you will to go into motion and build a righteous kingdom? Or do you will to beg another man that you think got something to give you something even if it's give you the permission to do something is that what you will that's not me I do as I will you gotta think you got to think don't get caught up on your feelings now I made the statement that this was permitted to be done we allowed the minister to have the same choice as any other man to accept or reject but the actions of me calling me having someone to call a million men to any particular location whether it be Washington or wherever and then after they arrive they actually respond to the call after they get there I would be less than God if I didn't have a godly message or some instructions. Other than that, if I actually did it, then I'm toying with you like a cat does a mouse. What would be the purpose? If you had received instructions, guidance, sure guidance, one that you hadn't had before, then that would bear witness that it was authentic from God that didn't happen you must remember you all may think well you're the only one loved the minister please if I'm the all in all how could you love him more than me it's written in the books a question to the general public and those people that call themselves clergies or spiritual men is it, it, is it a wonder that we raised up a reminder, not a builder, but a reminder? So I raised the minister up as a reminder, not a builder. And his name was Farrakhan. He was supposed to remind the people with modern equipment, which he has done over the air. We did it in such a way you didn't have to go to the temple. The temple was too small. It's too confining. You can't get enough of us in there. So we raised the man up because the time was is, is of such that just coming to the temple, the process is too slow. So we allowed this man to be very articulate in the course of reminding the people from the modern equipment over the radio, over the TV, over the paper that we allowed in it. But as far as calling them to one place, that's something that he had in his own mind. If he received it like he said he did, it didn't come from me. And if you use your math, the universal, the universal method that we developed, that will tell you whether it was me or not not me just saying it you don't have to believe it however if you use the math the math will tell you not just me if i had did it what was accomplished 
What was accomplished? Now, I made the statement in 1990, I think it was, that quite a few people was going to become very angry with the minister for him going off on his own thinking. However, they wasn't going to be able to do anything to him. They can't punish him because they want to punish him. That statement is true. You know why? The messenger asked me, And the minister himself has said it a couple of times. I think in the, he made a, the last time I recall him saying it is when he made the tape, I think from year from now until 2000, and he made the uh, statement concerning when he turned hypocrite that he prayed that Allah would go after him and bring him back. The messenger said that. And because my love for the messenger, because the messenger stayed here 40 years. Are you listening? Yes, sir. I hope so, because this is math, and this is what's actually happening. The man stayed here 40 years as a daily sacrifice. He put up with our stench. The weight of the ignorance of the black man is what caused us to take him away. He didn't get killed like Malcolm, uh, Malcolm or uh, Martin Luther King. We took Elijah. We took him. And because he saw so much favor in the minister, we assured him, well, we won't let the minister get killed either. However, the messenger already knew what the minister was going to do. He said, when, not if, when he turns hypocrite, I pray, this is the messenger speaking to the minister, not speaking to me, or speaking to a group of people. I pray when you turn hypocrite, Allah go after you and bring you back. He went with Wallace. Wallace is the false prophet. Wallace is not a hypocrite. He never did, he never did say he was with his father. He said he was with the teachings of his mother, Sister Clara, and where they sent him over to the East to learn. We prepared him well. To be the testator. We wanted to test those people that said, Well, yes, sir, the whole apostle, I'm with you. Hi, salam alaikum, I'm your brother. We got to test you. So it's real smooth how we did it. So we brought the messenger's son in and see if he were lying. However, the minister went with his son. He went screaming and kicking. He acted like he didn't want to go, but he still went. After the testing period was over, we sent Brother Bernard Kushmir. Kushmir means cause to be near. To go get him. That's what we use to bring him back. And then he started reminding again. And he did it with such robust luster and guster. Then it became very evident. Is it a wonder that we raise up a reminder. Not that he got, got all this not started himself. We did this through him. And it made all of the ones that was with the messenger start to remember, wait a minute. Wallace did all Man, we left the teachings. The minister is right. And the devil said, oh, we thought Wallace said, did him in. This man came back. It is true. Fear jumped in it. We got to start a campaign not to let him be successful because he was also reminding him. Now, that goes for a period of time. This ain't just forever. You can't have no final call forever. And the time period on everything is from what is nature, from zero to nine, which is really 10 numbers, counting the zero. From 1980 to 1989, he was the reminder. From 89 up until now, he has not been reminding. We have allowed him to go off on his own thoughts while I completed developing what I had to do. Remember, it's written that I would come like a thief in the night and make ready for what I wanted to do. When I got ready to start pressing the buttons, I'd have everything ready. I got it ready now. 
what he could have done when I saw him in 1990 and told him what was happening. He could have. He had the opportunity to say, what? Is that really? Oh, Brother Solomon. Yes, I'm for that. Because this is what I told him. Now you may say, well, you saying this, I don't know if it's true or not. Use your math. Use your math. In my mind, I'm thinking this way. Here's a man that's already known. Man, it's bad. Now remember, I'm talking 89, 1990. There wasn't enough time then for him to do anything wrong. This is 96. So we got six years now. We're talking difference. But when I went to him, everybody knew him as being the pure man with the message. God was backing him up against all odds. So I go to him and tell him, listen, I don't want the people to see me. I had my teeth missing then. I said, I don't want the people to see me. It's not necessary. I want you to listen. Because this is math. If you want to see what you're hearing is right or not, you've got to think. You've got to. And if you're thinking, then you will see the plan from day one to right now and tomorrow. You've got to be able to see forward. What's going to happen before it happens? If you don't, you're always a victim of or, or circumstances. You'll never be able to handle it because you don't see it until it's too late. So why should I do anything different from what I've been doing since creation? I always let my prophets, ministers, apostles know what I'm going to do before I do it. If we made the man great, it ain't necessary for me for you all to see me. What is necessary is for you to learn how to think. Now the messenger told him, if you stick to my teachings, I will reveal the new book through you. I am the new book. So when I went to him, now remember what the messenger said, this new book is a book that you have to give ear to not take your eyes and read something off in the paper so when I went to him and let him know I am the new book you have the opportunity now to let the people know what's in this book through you do you accept do you think it's worthy of your time I'm leaving it up to you and if you do it I won't have to do that I can still leave you before the people and with this new knowledge, you can really set them on fire. And then when you tell them, I have to be absent for a while because I have to go get the messenger. I have to be with him for a while to make sure that it actually is the messenger. So when I come back before you, before the mic, and tell you, this is the embodiment of Elijah. You would know the man is telling the truth because he never lied to you. Why should he start now? However, that didn't happen. Since he didn't do it, I'm doing it myself. So I didn't call for the Million Man March. This was something that we allowed him to do on his own. Since he's unwilling to give way to a higher knowledge, we allow him and those that is with him to see that there is a time on the knowledge that he had. There is a time on the final call. And it has ran out like the time for the devil has ran out in 1914. It's ran out. So that's what's happening. Now as far as master, is this answer taking too long? Yes. Yeah. I want you to know thoroughly. You may make haste. If you've got a question, you can get it on. No sir, I just wanted you, you didn't complete the sister's question. She asked you about what was the importance of what was the significance of master. I'm just going to get into it. <laughs> Master Farad Muhammad is an individual that we made for a time to come and make us aware of who we are and who our open enemy is. Now, we had to make him both colors, black and white, or from that. In the books he's called, or a person that come in dyed garments. The dyed garment is the flesh that he came in. Now, he himself, I hope you listen.
because this seems to be a very touchy thing with the Muslims, those with the minister and those that came under the messenger. Because of your lack of understanding, that's what has caused you not to be able to go forward. I'm sharing with you absolute knowledge, mathematically. So all you got to do is listen and weigh it mathematically. Take your feelings out of it. It don't have nothing to do with it. You wasn't there when we made the plan up. So the only thing you can do is weigh it mathematically and see this is true. Now, Master Farad Muhammad was produced from a black man and a white female for the express purpose of coming amongst you all. I, this entity that's in this body, came in that body, his body. That's why the messenger said, Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, not that Master Farad Muhammad was Allah. I came in his person. I did the raising of Elijah, the entity that's in this body here did the raising of the Elijah, the messenger, not Master Farad Muhammad. The only thing Master Farad Muhammad did was give permission for me to come in his body. However, we made sure that he would do this. This is why we made him a master. Knowledge gives way to knowledge. If he was an ignorant man, he wouldn't permit me to come in. I would have to come in by force. However, knowledge gives way to knowledge. Like you say, alcohol calls for alcohol. We made him a master. So he gave willingly permission for me to come in his body and do what I had to do. However, the body is dyed. It's half original. It's colored. It's weakened. It is not what we say our lessons is. Who is the original man? The Asiatic black man, not half original man. You see? And the reason why I couldn't remain there or make a body like that for me, by me being the all in all, the body could not respond to the entity that's in it. You see? I hope y'all can hear this. They boogie in next door. You get, get the tape before you leave. Make sure you study it. Now, that mission was carried out. It told you before how long I would be. Three and one half years. It's in your lessons. Look at prob look in problem book number 31. Look at it. It tells you for three and one half years. And, and the way the, even the way the, in your lessons, Master Farad Muhammad refers to himself as prophet. Not God. Only the messengers start referring to him as Allah who came in the person. Master Farah Muhammad never referred to himself as that. And that is true. He was not Allah. I am. I am a full-fledged black man. However, I may not look black black because this entity that this body is housing is so bright. It, don't, it won't allow the pigment to remain black black. It don't need to. This body is specially prepared for this entity. I don't have no negative, none, no negative. You have positive and negative, every one of you, every one of you, including the minister. That's why you, everybody has a choice whether you're going to do right or whether you're going to do wrong. I don't have no choice. I can't go but one way. I can't go but one way. That's right. And it's the only one that can actually free you and bring in a new kingdom or a new heaven. If I had both, I couldn't bring it in. It would be just like it's written in the Bible. Still would be nothing new under the sun. However, now I'm the new under the sun. And because I am, I am that. I can bring in something new. Period. A new people and a new earth. All of the former things are passed away. You see? So that's why. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Brother Andrew. Uh, you answered most of my question. Uh, I just want to ask, what is your relationship with the Nation of Islam? And I mean, no disrespect, and I say this very humbly. How how are you, Allah? Could you explain it? Make me believe that you're Allah. Not make me believe, <laughs> but at least tell me something about you. Why are you? How are you, Allah? That's the question. Well, just the fact that me saying that I have no negative in me. If you were able to actually equate that, that fact alone would state it. No one, else, no one else can say that. This makes me the one. The one. 
Only the one can be God. It sets me apart. One. There's only one Allah. Before, Allah was the best knower. If he showed up as a live, living person, he was of both natures, positive and negative, just from the very material he used to house himself. I am in material, but the material holds no negative, so it still allows me to be just the one. For me, to, I'm not going to work no miracle other than just to tell you mathematically how things are going, and it is for you to think. And in your proper thinking, if you really want the truth, the math of it will tell you what the man spoke is absolutely true. Now, how I'm affiliated or associated or my uh, 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 dealings with the nation, what is that? I'm the one that got it actually started as a law through the messenger. In other words, I'm not coming back to something that somebody else got and I'm taking it. The whole idea is mine. Now, we started off with it. It's like you're impregnating your wife. That's your child. It's not hers. It's yours. But what you do, you allow her to keep the child for a certain period of time. She's to teach the child while you constantly go out and still be God. After the child grows up in thinking, where he no longer has to stay with the mother, now he can go with the father out around. He's yours. Even the daughter. This is why the father gives the daughter away. Not the mother. The mother belongs to you as the father. This is the same thing with the idea. The idea was for me to erect a system that I could save this black man and bring him back into being God again. So I implant the seed. I go away. Work on my own universe. And when the people have got enough or grown enough here, then I come back. Remember, the duty of Elijah was to turn the hearts of the children to the father and the children father to the children. He was to make a way for God, make a way for me, meaning that he's the mother. He raised up the children and I'm here actually to get the ones that came with the messenger. That's what reads in the Bible. I came to get the elect, the remnants. And they had to come from Elijah. If you didn't make it by 1975, you're not that. However, the process of what I'm using, if it attracts you and you come, you're automatically saved. But I didn't come for you. Remember what it reads. If it were not for the sake of the elect, it wouldn't be no flesh left. Yes, and the elect could only be that if you accepted me and my idea before we took the message in 1975. So that's how you would tell. That's my, that's my affiliation with the nation of Islam. It came out of my idea. I'm here now to make it law. It has been a message, a reminding of a message. Now it has to be law and actually be built. And I am the only one that can do it. The minister can't do it because the devil studied the same lessons he studied. So every time he take a step to do something, the devil checkmated it. But if I know what he don't know, how are you going to checkmate me? If I'm the one that has what you, your eye haven't seen, your ear haven't heard, nor has it been conceived in your heart, how are you going to checkmate me? You see? So I will build a house for you in the presence of your enemy and make him, he, he's such a glutton for knowledge, make him your footstool. He just want to hang around your feet just so he can get some of the knowledge. But it's always something new. He can't never catch up with you. See? So that's how I'm affiliated with the nation. The minister, uh, I'm, I'm very close to being in the seat. Very, very close. I'm doing it very lovingly with him. So as not to hurt him. And he can still have some dignity. And after a period of time, and he and I get to be as we should be, then I can put him back on his pedestal again. But from his own actions, his own actions has brought many questions about the Muslims, whether they want to be with them or not. Most of the people now is thinking, well, do I want to be a Muslim? They'll say, yes, I, I had the brother come to the meeting and tell me, listen, brother, you're talking about the minister. I will kill for the minister. But I won't die for him. 
Do you see that? Well, that's an ignorant statement. I asked myself, are you, with, are you with the minister? No. Why not? If you're going to kill for him, if he's got something going so great, why aren't you with him? Yes, sir. You know why he wasn't with him? Because the only thing in his mind that the minister was doing was speaking harshly and abrasively to his enemy. Yes, sir. Now, if the minister, oh, look, come on and let's get this nation built. Oh, well, no, minister. I mean, I'll stay on the sideline. Now, you know, when you get it, if it looks good, I might come. That ain't no good to nobody. But with me, what I'm doing is so attractive. If you keep breathing, you're going to be with me. Yes, sir. I'm God. You don't have no choice. You're going to be with me. And you're going to be with me because you want to. You love it. I know your nature. I know where to touch you. And when I touch you, you can't refuse it. Regardless of what you're thinking now. Yes. You're not thinking the way I think now. But soon you will. If that answers your question. Uh, well, put it, give me my so you, I was asking like... Uh, what, give me a little of your uh, history. How, About me? Yeah, yeah, where do you come from? Because if if you're a man, if you're God in the person, you had to be taught by a man. So where did you come from and how well, did you I, I, affiliate with Elijah Muhammad? I'll speak spiritually because that's the essence of me. So you have the proper understanding of Allah. It's written in the book of Ezekiel and a few other places about the son of man. This son of man that the Lord keeps instructing to bring about this destruction and liberation for his people. In order to have a son of man in this particular sense, in the spiritual sense, he must come from two men. Since life has to come from two. After we made the woman. Are you impatient? Thank you. You see how I submit? I take instructions. I will go ahead. Yes. We must remember your impatience is what got you here, not in this building, what got you in the situation that you are. This, because this brother wants to know you can't wait until he gets an understanding. That's not courtesy. No, I'm not impatient. All right, we won't get off on that. The son of man must be produced from two men because this is a spiritual man. Remember, the Solomon that was the son of David that actually built this kingdom was a Solomon that was bestowed upon David, not David's physical son named Solomon. In the fullness of that, Master Farad Muhammad and Elijah Muhammad is the two men that produced the son of man, which is me. You see, spiritually. Now, it's written in the Holy Quran that we gave Solomon a little knowledge of everything. So the 12 major scientists that you all hear about or read about in the Bible, they literally came and got me physically. I want you to hear this now. <laughs> I want you to hear this. They literally... Oh, this is something here tonight. He didn't leave. He just got his line. <laughs> this is important. I'm going to tell you how they did this, how they gave me this little bit of knowledge of everything. They literally, you, have you heard the teachings of the mother plane and the little ships? Well, one of the little ships that's created, not me, created, came and literally picked me up, came to my home. The ship didn't, but they came in a car. I went with them in the car to the ship and carried me all over the universe and showed me and taught me a little about everything. So that's how I, I won't say it, that's how I know what I know. I already knew. I had to, it's like a time period that after the test was up, after Wallace did what he was supposed to do, and I being who I am, the entity of me leaving Master Farah Muhammad housed this coming into his own housing. I already knew everything, but however, to acquaint me with already exist in this body, in these eyes, in this touching and feeling and smelling, in these senses, they carried me. This is what it means when they, we, gave him a little knowledge of everything. They carried me on one of the creative ships everywhere in the universe. 
that would allow me and give me the power to do what I'm doing now. So that's what happened. Now, physically, I was born in South Carolina by a woman named Isabel. She looked in the sky, she is twins. I was, I'm a twin. She knew she was going to have a girl. She already had a name picked out for her. But she didn't know she was pregnant with twins. I come as a surprise. Now, what am I going to name him? So the scientist calls her to be looking in the sky, and we had a nice and beautiful that day. Beautiful. And you know, when there's no clouds and the sun is beautiful, and the color is blue. Is that right? Is the sky blue? What is the color of a boy baby? What do you paint his room? So we caused her to name me Royal. R-O-Y-A-L-L. It means to summons all. Or to judge all. Her name was Isabel. I was the is in the bell. But I won't go off into that. Because the sister got a question for me. Get the tape. And if you study it, you'll see that this is mathematically laid out perfect. You see? So, yes ma'am. My question for you is, I have been standing here listening to you uh, basically speak not uh, in a sort of negative way saying that you didn't, you are the one who is Allah, the personification of Allah and this and that. Okay, but that's not the highest of the highest. You stand here and say that that you tell people to hate white people, but you personify what they say. The Bible was written by white homosexuals in England. You know, who did um, Jesus, so, so-called so Jesus, come through? You know what I'm saying? Um, you stand there and say that I am the one who directs and guides and gives the information, but there's a higher knowledge that goes beyond the ice age, the ice age when the white man came in, which is the knowledge of the woman and what the woman is to the universe, the cosmos, the birthright of the female. That's all Christianity did was take away the birthright of the female and give it to the male and the shepherdship and 30,000 years before so-called Jesus was created, they worshiped the women. And this is documented. This is not something that I just made up. And anybody who seeks for higher knowledge can find this out. You stand here and say that, um, you know, I want you to follow me. But you're not giving anybody here any healing. You're not giving anybody here any higher knowledge. You stand here and say that I'm giving you an equation for higher knowledge, but you're still preaching the same thing that the white man has always done to keep people in slavery. The white people don't hide their knowledge. They have it right out for people to see. But you got to search and understand. They tell you that the first thing they do is when they went into Africa was to take away their gods and fill them with Christianity and the likes of Christianity and you stand here and use the Bible and you're not giving anybody any higher knowledge because you say I am Allah and I have this higher knowledge well if you and then you tell people that there are gods too well if you want them to understand that they are gods too then you cannot laud over them you cannot shepherd over them if you are a true prophet, a true prophet is humble, and whatever Farrakhan did, he, he did atonement at one minute. If there is at one minute, there cannot be two. Therefore, the female cannot be subjugated. You were a female up until the 11th week of gestation because all men are women until the 11th week. That's why you have a slit in your under your scrotum, which closed up, which was your vagina. And as far as you saying that um, two, it took two men to create a being, that never was because women can make children without men because they could fashion their vaginas to the sun and create just like plants. If you do your higher knowledge, if you go back to Isis, beyond Isis, to where we get theology, the theory from, that it that comes from a higher feminine knowledge. And if you do any, if you deal with any religious sect, there was a female at the beginning. And I'm not trying to usurp the authority of the male because both things balance out. You have to have cosmic dualities which balance out to make all universe. You say you're a positive entity. You can't be positive without a negative because it takes two to make things. It takes two chromosomes to make 
one chromosome to create the human being. It takes an X and Y chromosome to make a man. It takes an XX chromosome to make a female. It, it has to go into a pattern. You stand here before us and uh, uh, prostate yourself, or I'm not sure, that's not the correct word, but you present yourself as the one with all the knowledge, but you are not saying anything. I'm standing here listening to you give a whole lot of rhetoric about who you are and who you're supposed to be, but you're not feeding us anything as far well, as... May I ask you a question? Yeah. Have you already... Uh, put the mic so she can answer. Have you already made your mind up that I'm not for real? But I'm, I'm, my question is, what's your level of knowledge? You understand what I'm saying? You, you at, uh, is the Quran or just the Bible as far as you go? Do you go deeper into where you came from, who you are, who well, your mama me, named me, you me, ain't who you are, who, who named her ain't who she wait, is? Wait, 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 let, me, let me answer with your question. Evidently, you didn't hear it. I stated it several times. My knowledge is universal. Universal. I don't point to no one and say someone told me or no book and say I read it. I have the formulas of creation. And because you are unable at this particular time, if I have insulted you, it is because of the little thinking or non-thinking that you're doing. So much so that you haven't heard what was being said. I never asked nobody to follow me. What in the world would I want with a follower? I'm not saying you ask people to follow, but you're giving people wrong knowledge. Well, then the only thing I can say to you, sister, you're welcome to stay, but I must do what I must do. You're not going to convince me. I just said I've been all over the universe. How far have you been? I've been all over the universe, too. I fly. You did? Not only in a ship, but I can astral travel. I can heal myself. Everything happens in the mind. Your body is made to heal you and heal yourself. You don't have to go to the doctor. We were made from the earth. The earth has its healing powers. The earth, this is a feminine planet. This is a feminine planet who gives off healing. Let me, ask you, let, me, let, me, let me ask you a question, sister. I get my knowledge uh, from the let earth. Me, let me ask you a question. Since you get your knowledge from the earth, what has the earth instructed you or told you about us being liberated. How is that going to take place? It's very imminent. It's no, very no, 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 I didn't say it. Is it imminent? How, are, how is this supposed to take place? Mother said, everybody always looking out. Healing comes from within. I didn't ask for no healing. How the black you, man needs to be liberated, needs to be You free. can't be liberated if you're sick. What good is it to do to be liberated if you are not healed, if your mind... Just like you talk about people don't have higher knowledge and their minds are closed. That's no light coming in. But you're standing up there saying the same thing that the Bible says that has kept okay, people sister. enslaved all the time. All right. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Next question. <laughs> Thank you very much. My name is Eddie X. Yes, sir. Um, brother, I like that. I heard a qu uh, um, comment from someone before I came that Elijah Muhammad was back on the soils of America, and he's with you. Yes, sir. And um, I would like to know when is he going to show himself to us, or, or why haven't he shown himself to the nation of Islam, those who love him, they're supposed to love him the most and follow his teachings. The way well, your the, the teachings of the honorable black man uh, of, of his own teachings. That's right. Well, the, uh, the main reason why, for just for the mere fact of what just took place, the mere fact of what just took place, unless he's introduced by someone that you already know, by someone that you already know and respect as being a man of God, he would be disrespected. And I would have to kill the person that disrespected him. He stayed here 40 years and took this crap. Or what she just did, what she just did, 40 years and took that crap. And I'm gonna allow him, and it's not that I'm coming back with him. It's written, he said that if, I, if it pleases Allah, Allah will, I'll be back with Allah. If it pleases him. If it don't, this is still the end. After me comes God himself. Yes, sir. Not no woman. Yes, sir. Now, the reason why, yes, he's with me. I know how to respect him because I raised him up. If not a damn soul make it, he and I are the only one that's going to make it. His fate is already sealed as far as I'm concerned. 
Now, I don't, when the minister brings him back, when the minister does what he's supposed to do, then he will, people don't know me. If I was to introduce him, you don't, you don't believe me. So now you're going to insult me and him. I sure enough have to kill you. So now we let the minister introduce him because you say, oh, yeah, if the minister's doing it, oh, you will think twice. You'll think that the man is telling the truth. That's why he has to have ignorance. He's not to put up with that anymore. That's what. That's the only reason why. That's the. Now there are many that is with me and that has been with him, that has met him, and because they know how to conduct themselves in a civilized manner, I introduced them. And some people walk by and say, "Oh, you got to be the messenger." And he smile. Sometimes he say yes. Sometimes he don't say anything. But they know. They come ask me or ask somebody that's with me. Is that the messenger? The woman asked, so what did he say? But he didn't say. Well, can I, can I go ask him? Well, he asked him. He's not going to hurt you. And they go ask him. Well, sometimes he says yes. And they just cry. We've seen people cry, almost faint, because how much they love him. But you take somebody to come up here. I don't know if she's ever, ever a Muslim or not. She charged me with everything that I didn't say. Yes, sir. Everything that I did not say, and she's talking 30,000 years. I said 72 trillion years. I've been here impersonating myself for 70,000 years. I said 50,000 years. The God's only one is the one that knew about bringing about the white man. So how in the world, she, what did she come up with? This devil can't write nothing past 50,000 years. He can't really verify nothing past 6,000 years. But she's coming and telling me what I'm standing. You see? Yes, sir. So since I'm the one. They have to come. I don't have no negative, so she don't upset me. If I had negative, I got really upset. I might have was poof and she's gone. She wanted to see something. Everybody would see she's gone. You see, she, she come here to be, to make mockery. And if anybody has knowledge, you never insult another person. That's right. That's right. Never. And I don't know the brother that's standing with the pen in his mouth and whatnot, I seen him shaking his head a couple of times like you were in agreement with her. When you get to the mic, i just like for you to be intelligent and you ask whatever question that you thought she was right about. And you know, when you get to the mic. And does that answer your question, brother? Yes. I could go into many things, many things. However, what will determine whether a meeting is really good for you or not depends upon the person that's asking the question because you can control the speaker. I gave my presentation as to what, uh, what I want to do, what I'm doing for the black man or for as being God. Now, after I relinquished the floor and gave you the floor, the, the mic, from then on, the meeting is controlled by the people. So if the meeting turns out to be real stupid, you did it. <laughs> if it turns out to be extremely intelligent, you did it. If you want to know if I'm really God, if you know what to ask me, then that'll come out. Yes. If you don't know what to ask me, then it's kind of difficult for me to show you because I don't know what level of thinking you at. You see, that's why I said you ask me what you want to know. I'll answer it. When you get definite on that, then you then you got something what you got something solid to stand on and you can take the next step. But as long as you floating in space and thinking, thoughts are just thoughts. Unless you can prove it. It's just that simple. Yes, sir, brother. Yes, ma'am. Shalom, brother. Uh, I have several questions. Uh, first of all, um, dealing with Revelations. The Revelations deal with that Christ will return in the flesh. Okay, if you return in the flesh, I'm not saying you know who you are, but I understand there's one supreme being, and that is the Almighty Allah, a new, which sent his only begotten Son, Son, Yahshua, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if you are returning back in the flesh as Allah, so I mean you will send down here. New Allah, I'm actually here to bring about freedom for you, the, the created man, the black man, the original man. I'm, that's what I'm actually doing. Now, in the different schools of learning, I'm known by many different names. Yahweh, Jesus Christ, Son of Man, the Lamb, with no spot or blemish, uh, Joshua. I'm known by many names according to what school of learning that you are in. However, all of the schools of learning must add up to the one definite. The one definite. If Allah is the all in all, and I'm the only one with no negative, I'm the only one that is one. I can only, I'm the only one that can say I'm the, the one, the definite order, the one. I'm the one. Now, 
It depends upon you how quick you can think in your own thoughts to prove what I'm saying is true based on what you ask me. If you keep breathing, you don't have to ask me nothing. It'll be plenty of people never get the opportunity to ask me physically. Other than in their mind, I answer in their mind. But for what I'm doing, what I'll be doing, if you remember the messenger taught us, that when I came of myself and in my own self body, the nation would rise so fast, it would look like the nation was never down. That's what I have to do. Not just talking. I'm only down here acquainting myself with you all so you will know what to expect of me when I'm in the temple or in the seat of power or what to expect of me since you were hearing about me headed in that direction. That's the only thing I'm doing in meetings like this. I'm actually, Solomon was commissioned to build, not go around speaking. That's why I wanted the minister to do this. This is like taking up my time. Anybody can speak. I could easily teach them what to say. And it would be true. It would leave me the time to actually go into the building part. Solomon was commissioned. Remember, the Lord was telling David, which is really the messenger. Master Farad Muhammad telling the messenger. You shall have a son. Shall. Future tense. And his name shall be Solomon. And he shall build my house. And he shall be my son, and I shall be his father. You will be his mother, and he will be styled as the son of us, the son of man. So this is me. I am to build, and I'm to do it so rapidly that it will look like the black man was never down. That's not commission for no minister. He's not the son of man. He's the reminder of the message from the mother. You see? And then the sister comes up, if she really, people that have that type of knowledge or think that I, I, here's another black man or in their mind another nigga want to flee somebody, try to get something going. When they actually see freedom being presented to them in a way, in a functional way, where when you rise in the, matter of fact, where you're sleeping at is safety. You don't have to worry about nobody robbing you. You don't have to worry about nobody coming over to white people, don't like you, they come over and drop a bomb. You don't have to worry about none of that. When you get up, everything that you do is right and exact. If you decide to lay down, you go to sleep in peace. You wake up in peace and everything that you've done during the course of waking and going to sleep was done right. So it makes, it makes, it builds a spirit of confidence and righteousness in you as the original man. It justifies your existence. That's what I have to produce. I got to produce an area, a controlled atmosphere for you to work in learning how to be God again. That's what I got to do. Not go and talk to you and let you think that I'm wise. I already, if, I'm, if I'm really wise, I got to make you free. Not administer to you like she's saying I'm doing. I'm just got a lot of rhetoric. Well, she said what rhetoric? I got to actually make it where you can be free. Is it? You got another question? Yeah, I have two more questions in the statement. Okay, uh, you say you come in to release us from the bondage, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now that bondage is actually the bondage that was sent. Uh, the spell of Shaitan, of the uh, Lucifer, right? Right. Okay, that, that's the spell that we're under, the curse that we have to be redeemed from so we can return to the nation, the, the, the original deity, the godliness that's in us, right? Yes. Also in Revelation it says that uh, there will be the chosen children uh, that, will come, that will be raised to bring those followers of the news bearers for the new Jerusalem. Yes. You're, talking about, you're talking about Islam. Yes, sir. Okay. I got, okay, and it's not saying that you're not Allah, but under due respect, if the, prophet, the prophecies that I have that are being fulfilled and the visitation that I have been getting from the Lord, that was Jesus, Jesus Christ. Because if you're, if you're Christ in the flesh, you should automatically know who I am because you visited me several times no, in no, my sir, visions and in, 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 no, on your wait, white wait, throne. Wait, 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 wait. That's not the way I work. See, this is a, another thing that is against you. You already have preconceived ideas as the way Satan, the curse. You ain't don't. You didn't escape the curse. Yes, I am. I already overcome. Wait, 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 brother. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to thinking mathematically again. If you, why would I cause you to escape the curse, and you a single man, and you not me? Wait, wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. I'm asking the question. I'm asking. Yeah, I'm gonna ask the angel that's supposed to sell the last trumpet. I'm the sixth angel that you sent. I'm the sixth angel that you sent. You should already know me. 
I'm the one who sent the six hundred. Leave, 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 leave me alone, brother. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I'm the six angel that you sent from the you see? mothership. You see? I am the one that you sent. I am the last messenger. I am the last. Okay. Christ. I'm do what you got to do, brother. I am the last messenger. Go do what you got to do. How can you have sin? How can you have sin? Go do what you, you got to do. Bro, I am an bro, bro, bro. Go do what you got to do. I am an HBC. Very good. How have you Very good. Very good. You see? If I had some negative. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, you see? The black man, the, the, the black man. You got to go, brother. <laughs> you see? Now, just any black man is going to raise this black man up. He's the sixth angel. But he didn't come under Elijah. And if it were not for the sake of the elect, there would be no flesh left. He ain't a part of the elect. I'm going to free him. He's the sixth angel. What happened to one, two, three, four, five? They ain't, did they work yet? The six gonna come do his before them? That don't make sense. Our people's in bad shit. Bad shit. That's why I say God Himself would have to come, not no messenger. And the God's coming have to be a new God with all power. Maybe some of y'all thinking the way he think. I just say keep breathing. The question is asked in the lessons. Who is it that makes rain, hail, snow, and earthquake? Not the sixth angel, the son of man. And I think you asked me the question. I think it. I, I explained it. I'm the son of man. I'm the one that's doing that. Whether you accept me or not, I promise white folks I'm wiping them off the planet. So if you go with them, y'all gone, all gone. But I didn't lie. You see how sick we are? The brother sat back there. I guess he gathered all the information that was in his mind. And he's going to come against me as though I'm a fraud, just like the sister. Is that what you want to save you? Or do you think that is intelligence that has the intelligence to save you? That type of intelligence can't free you from nothing. He thinks he's free from the curse. The curse is sure on him. Yes, sir, brother. First, I'd like to say, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. Hold it up, hold, hold it up close, yeah. Yes, sir. And I'd also, firstly, I'd like to say, um, I'd like to ask my questions as well as discuss with you, brother, in uh, the most humble manner and the most respectful manner that I would not leave here in a stark raven <laughs> position to where I have to be physically removed. That, that I can assure you, brother, will not happen. Okay. <laughs> with that in mind, I just would like to... Um, Firstly, I ask you, brother, were you, um, you were in what we call, or what's termed as in the nation of Islam, the, in the first resurrection. You were one of the uh, first fruit to follow the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and, and, um, and accept the teachings. And, and is that why, uh, and, in, and in doing so then, have you then, um, you studied the mathematical equation and applied it in your own life to preserve yourself or to uh, to build yourself a heaven on this earth because as no, sir, from no, my sir. understanding no, sir. that's not what I did, that, that didn't happen not to cut you off but that line of thinking I can answer already, that's not the way it happened however I did accept the teachings from the messenger I was a, I was a long distance truck driver a servant, just like it's written about the guy would be now I didn't go and get no books and read and try to make myself wise I said what happened, what was prophesied, that they gave me a little knowledge of everything. That's why I say when I'm saying these things, you've got to listen. You've been so, not you, but the black man has been so orientated to hear what he wants to hear, not what's being said. You hear what you want to hear. So when you think on it, well, that can't be, he said so, but I didn't say that. I am said that they gave me a little knowledge of everything. And the entity of Allah that was in the person of Master Prophet Muhammad is now in me. And Allah means all in all. You see what I'm... You, 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 does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. It does. But um, may I say that from, what my, from my understanding, because that's the only point that I can speak from, the only perspective that I can speak from... Of but don't stick to your understanding. When, a better, when clear understanding comes... And that's what you accept mathematically. Not because I'm saying it. 
So I understand what you're telling me. Understanding it and saying that it's right, I can't say that. You have an understanding. That's why I'm the one that's doing the speaking. I'm the one that is saving you. Because you would, you would save me if you had the knowledge, but you don't have it. It's as simple as that. I'm not questioning your heart or your originality. Do you want things right for the black man? If you could do it, I'm sure you would do it. That's why you'd come, right? Because you want a, a betterment of life. And that's the, the whole basis to our yes, whole discussion. Right. Okay. But um, from, from what I have heard the Honorable Louis Farrakhan teach is that uh, one, one man, even Master Farad Muhammad himself, had to study for many years, study physically. Which well, means he this had is to what read. I did. This is what I did as far as that studying part, which is also still written. Solomon took 13 years to build his own home. Seven years to build the house of the Lord. So for the 13 years, during the course of the night, after the messenger passed in 1975, up until 1991, was the period of the night. In that time span, I used the 13 years to prepare myself based on what I had been shown a little knowledge of everything. I built my own house, meaning that everything that is affiliated with me and that came directly from me has to be right and exact. They have to understand, un know and understand. So now, when I come to step before you and you ask me these questions to see if I'm really genuine, I got to really be genuine. I did it in a sense what is already prescribed that I would do. Building my home meaning that I took what was given to me. And I experienced it. I didn't sit down and study in a book because 99.9 .9 of what I was shown has never been written. So I couldn't have got it from a book. I had to experience it. And in experience it, they say your best teacher is experience. So now, after I got it, I, I, I got it. It's me. I don't have it. It's me. So when I come before you, you can't ask me nothing. that I can't give you the exact, complete, absolute answer to. And I have the knowledge to free you. Even against your will, even if you don't like me, I'm still going to do it. Because in the end, you will not like it anyhow. You're going to say, look, I was a fool in the beginning, but I'm so glad you didn't listen to me. Thank you. Um, now, let me get back to this seven years to build a house of the Lord. If it started, if I started back dealing with the minister and gave him a certain amount of time for him to, uh, to see or recognize then in 1993, I started out going around and putting certain things in place. I started spiritually first. Nin 93 to 2000 is seven years. So I got to be finished freeing the nation or freeing you by year 2000. It's got to be finished. This is why the messenger said, if you come follow me and fly to Allah, Allah promised to give you money, good home, friendships, and work, or, or in all walks of life, peace and contentment of heart overnight. But he didn't tell you how long the night was. He did in this sense. He said, I'm going to, I'm asking the devil. You listening, sister? I'm asking the devil to take care of you from 20 to 25 years in my absence. He passed in 1975. If you add 25 years to it, it'd be year 2000. Why didn't he say, take care of my people while I'm gone? He gave a time period. Because I can't go no further than year 2000. By then, I have to have the nation independent. Where we don't have to ask the white man for nothing, nor does he have a right to give us anything. We will be independent. I will use them seven years to actually build the house of the Lord, and it's built. So we're independent, we're free. So white people don't have to do it within 20 to 25 years. Nobody has told you how to decode the lessons. So I'm doing it. You see, I took the 13 years. Now I'm using the seven. And I'm going to keep my promise. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Brother Farrakhan, when he teaches, he has, he's, he, he has large pictures behind him. One is of the Unobliged Muhammad. One is of Master Farad Muhammad, if you're well aware of some, some of his most recent lectures. And... In saying that he's a reminder of the, the works and of, of the God that is to come, he, he always points to them and says that you need not look for another. Um, if he has not then um, accepted or, or come out with the fact that, that, um, that you are God and that you are the one that we should be following, then, then that, that, that totally, that, that's in contradiction to what it is that you're telling me now. 
All right. Saying that you, Let me say this. You are God. Let me say this, and I implore you again to think. I don't have nobody to point to other than point to me. He's pointing about me. He said, don't look for another. What is he saying? The messenger told a lie. The messenger said, after me comes God. Right. And he's saying, don't look for another. What is he saying? Yeah, don't look for another prophet. Don't look for another minister. Right. Look for God himself. That's right. But if he said, no, it, it has to think, brother. Think. <laughs> Go ahead. You so anxious. Go ahead. Say, yes, sir. That the Honorable that Brother Farrakhan teaches each individual, man and woman, you as being a believing and a righteous person, whether you are black or white, yellow, you have the potential to adopt and to, to submit to the nature and righteousness that you were created in, which is goodness. If good is a law and law is justice, then <laughs> oh, each wait, individual uh, one of us has okay. the potential to be God. Okay. Your language is in error for the time. All right. I'll say his language because you, you were saying what he said. I shouldn't have said white. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no. Well, well, all right. We'll exclude that. We're at a time now that you can't get nothing built on what you think, what you have the potential of. You think white people or the devil don't know what your potential is? He always knew you, God. It is the knowledge. Remember, remember what the Lord asked Solomon. Not Solomon asked the Lord. The Lord came to Solomon and asked him, what would you have me to give you? This is what the Lord is asking Solomon. Solomon says, I would love for you to give me knowledge and wisdom and understanding so I can judge so great a people, your people. So this is telling you if there's going to be any resurrection, if there's going to be any new kingdom built, it has to be done, be done from knowledge, not the potential of it. Not the belief of it. So your language is antiquated. It's out of time. I'm the one to do what you are looking for. I'm the one with the knowledge. If I wasn't to do this, what good would it do to scientists to give me a little knowledge of everything? They're wasting their time. And wise people don't waste time. So you see, that's why I say, you have to think. I know the effects of the ministry on you. I know the love that he has generated from the people to him. He, we had it written in the book. We allowed him to go to Mount Hor, the top of it. And the people loved him. And we made him take his arraignment off and put it on the sun. And the people moaned and groaned. They didn't like that. However, it wasn't about like. You got to be made free. He cannot do it. If he's telling you about what you have the potential, that's why I'm here, because you do have it. But you got to be taught. You, and I don't mean taught from a classroom setting or from some setting like this. This is I'm not teaching anything. I'm just making you acquainted in a such way that you know that there is something greater coming from me. i got to make something for you to actually be active in. Not sitting right and taking notes or listening, oh, yeah, he's wise. That ain't got nothing to do with it. i got to present a situation where you actually go to work. you in the land. You work in the land. You work in what's in your mind. And, and white folks, I keep them off you. They can't stop you. That's what will make you be God. Not what the minister is saying and not what I'm saying, but what I, I allow you to do. And I instruct you, be, just like I promised the like, Lord, I said, I want knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to guide your people, not the people, your people, in and out of their affairs. So I had the knowledge to guide you in complete safety all the time. Not the minister. So I can make you be, not you keep potential. They ain't doing no good. What Brother Farrakhan teaches you, or in view, especially being a believer in the nation of Islam, your 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 uh, instructions. Well, when do we when do we get to be a knower? When do we get to be a knower? If I believe in Islam, if I be, no wait wait, wait wait wait, I want you to think. Yes, wait, wait, all right now, Allah. As the, now listen at this because I still want you to think. I, I'm, I'm not going off the course of what you're saying. I said it before while you were sitting there. The original Allah, if he has to have dual nature, then he's styled as the best knower. If I'm the one, it makes me the all knower, not the best knower. 
You see the difference? You don't see it, do you? All of them best in two different things. Yes, sir. If I'm the all-knower, only the one can do this. In the Quran, it speaks about Allah is the best knower. That's talking about the original Allah that created this. The new Allah, which is myself, I keep saying it, whether you believe it or not, because one day you are, you're going to know it. I can't be the best knower. I wouldn't be no different from the original. I have to be the all-knower. You see? So what I'm saying, I'm glad you came. You're conducting yourself very civilized. I hope, I hope that you get the math out of this. I'm not trying to make myself be something that I'm not. I'm trying to let you know where your answer lies. The real, complete answer. I'm the all-knower. Brother, I just want to thank you again um, for taking the time to answer my questions. Yes, sir. Salam alaikum. Thank you. Alaikum salam. Brother, did I see you before? Uh, I don't know. Peace. Yeah, peace to you. My name is Aital Ayman. I'm founder of Chilam Balam, which is a African American folk art gallery. Chilam Balam is an ancient uh, Mayan word, it means jaguar priest or interpreter jaguar. I, I didn't come here to, uh, well, everything I've heard tonight uh, is right, it is exact mathematically. I don't know whether that means anything to you or not by me saying that, but. I know that is true, but I, I want to ask you a question, and I want to—I don't want to say make you aware, because I, I really do feel that you okay. are aware of some things. But in, in the year 1930, uh, Dr. Farai Muhammad came to teach Elijah Muhammad, and at the same time, uh, the Emperor Haile Selassie was uh, being crowned by the Abuna, the Archbishop the Coptic Church of Egypt and the Archbishop spoke only Arabic. He placed a crown on the Emperor's head. So in the year 1975, uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and uh, uh, the Emperor Haile Selassie uh, disappeared at the same time. Uh, one of the questions I want to ask you was, uh, and I'm saying this basically for the record, because it, it'll all come up again as you s state that people one day will know that it is Allah who's speaking. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, are you familiar with the 64 unit matrix, uh, the genetic sounding board of the ancient Egyptian and the ancient Mayan? Uh, 64 unit matrix, uh, ge genetic sounding board. Uh, no, not offhand. You want to tell me something about it? I can tell you its origin of where it came from. Uh, the uh, 64 unit matrix is the uh deals with the dna structure of the planet the dna structure of man as a as a, as a quran say uh allah is as close to you to you as your juggler vein so the uh the quran speaks of the men and the scientists know that the men are the ones who we call the angels who are responsible for what's taking the scenario that's taking place on the earth today so the 64 unit matrix next year Mr. Safari kind of be 64 years old therefore uh, he has at that time the opportunity to do what he's supposed to do so if we call people together next year it won't be just a sign or symbol it'll be reality but as you say he has the opportunity to say no and uh, a lot of us, when we reach certain levels, uh, we for forget that Allah can come and appear in many different ways. And it, uh, at uh, many uh, forms at one time. So, so uh, it's very significant to me being here because today is the 26th. <laughs> and uh, some brothers, this is one of the brothers here came by the, the uh, gallery today and they showed me his flyer. And it was kind of funny at first, you know, this man says that he's Allah. So it was kind of, so, but I said, wait, let me go check it out and see, see what it is. And then I was talking to somebody up in Maryland because I called a check because the directions was wrong on the uh, flyer. So I called up to Maryland and check it out. So as she was saying, so I said, oh, I've heard of that brother somewhere. You know, so uh, in in my mind, I know that what's taking place right now is uh, on time. But I just want to let 
the people listening to know, like a brother came and told me to take my crown off, my cap off. So I just want to make them aware that Rastafari is an enlightened being. So if he had his cap on, you know, don't that's disrespected me telling me to take it off because it's on for a reason. And when I take it off, I take it off for a reason. So I'm not disrespecting God because uh, Allah knows he is the best knower, so he knows. So, you know, what I'm trying to say is a lot of times the followers, they're not enlightened, so they like stepping on their toes, just like the sister came up here and stepped on her toe, and the other brother stepped on his toe. But uh, certain people can do certain things because they are knowers. So respect the Rastafari because the Rastafari, the nation of Islam, is actually one thing. Haiti Selassie is very significant. And before it's over with, everybody will see that the brother standing here is not speaking foolishly. And the man that's standing before you is not speaking foolishly. So basically that's all I got to say. And I just want to let you know about a 64 unit matrix because it's very significant. And that Louis Farrakhan is not, uh, he is on time and he has the opportunity to, to uh, do what he's supposed to uh, do. And the the Million Man March was just a symbol of something greater to uh, take place. What do you think about, uh, what, what, what do you know about the mothership? Is the mothership a reality to, I mean. Yes, sir. It is, it is a reality. Um, and and uh, say something about the Emperor Haley Selassie. Yes, sir. This is an individual uh, that had the ability to uh, gain knowledge or take knowledge out of the ether. He was a remarkable individual. However, and he was for our people at home. Now, quite a few of the ones that has witnessed his thinking power, uh, his being, have left that particular place and they're here. And they still remember him and revere him and stick to the ether. Uh, what he did as far as dealing in the ether to get certain problems solved or to feel good. However, this land was set aside for us that was brought over here, not Cain, that was brought over here and went under the foot of this devil, Abraham C., for 400 years. It's hard for a man that is already of knowledge in his home in his own home and has and is expressing knowledge for him to go and see another man that has been acting out of the seat acting other than knowledgeable and then this man comes up and says he's knowledgeable it's like, it's like this is a little boy just running his mouth because here's a man that's in Africa or home where he has the authority and the right to be God, if he's wise enough to be that. So everyone that's around him, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he was on, uh, uh, his territory was, was the only territory that the devil didn't conquer. He didn't give way to. So it showed a superiority there in what he willed or what he wanted to take place for that region. However, this is a different situation. He was there. White people come to take it. White people was here. They brought us over here. Kept us a slave for 430 years. Now we coming up from his foot and taking it from him. That's two different things. So what I think about uh, the brother is all good. For what he did and in his time and in his home, I can't say anything bad about it. However, he like the messenger has gone on to a higher calling from this miserable place that we are now. What has to take place now for the living? If you are not going to die and you are going to continue to live forever. And don't do what Brother Haley did and Brother Elijah did. You got to have the knowledge to know how to do that. Regardless to how wise they were. They did not end death. They didn't end it. My duty is to end death. Period. You live forever. Nobody can do that but me. The, a 
original God could have done it. But he would have had Satan to live forever with him. So he decided to lay his body down. And what God does, he makes it a law. So when he laid his body down and went someplace spiritually, that meant everybody else had to die. Die only means he, when he did it, he set to die. That's why when they talk about Haley Selassie, the messenger, or people that are known spiritual people, we never refer to them as that they died or they're dead. They passed. So is it possible that they still live on mothership and they'll be Is it possible they still live on the mothership and they will return at a certain time? I mean, this is this is fact to some people. I want to know. That, do you think it's crazy, or do some of your followers oh, no, think sir. that it's crazy? No, sir, that's not crazy at all. The uh, uh, the place you have in error, the mothership is not for that. However, uh, when you pass, the black man always goes to the sun, to the sun that we see every day that gives you light. The pure entity of yourself is so powerful. That's why it reads, or you see, that all of the nine planets and everything that is within this solar system is controlled by the sun. The thoughts that you carry on in the sun is so powerful that it makes everything bad witness to it and it obeys the sun. This is why it says the sun burns or it exists on the sheer will of Allah. The sheer will of Allah is your pure entity. That is his will. And when it is in a collective place, it makes everything that is within its touchable, where it touch, it got to submit to that. Now, when it's time for you to return, you are dispatched from the sun to whatever part of the earth that you're supposed to do to make an impression for that time. However, I'm bringing us into going back to the sun. You're going to come and not go back. I'm bringing another sun in that's going to be much better on your eyes for the lighting. And you never have darkness. There won't be no need for it. But at this particular time, until I have the opportunity to bring that about, the suffering that they went through, they're not to keep doing this over and over and over. So they are there. Now, since Elijah's entity has already returned, and he's in a body that we prepared for him, and he's with me, so he's not suffering in anything. Now, Brother uh, uh, Selassie, if he's to come back into this part of the world, it would be for a short period of time just to see some things and go back to his home to bring something else about. If that answers the question. The mother plane, and, and those of you that listen to this on the tape and whatnot, the mother plane was built expressly, especially to show the power and wisdom of myself against an enemy, not to house any entities or any persons waiting to be returned. It's only a half mile by a half mile and a mile deep. If you're not there for a specific reason in the operation of that entity or of that ship, that's a very it's almost like you're in jail. It's a confined area. The people that are there, they are live living people like you and I, they're fleshly. So it's not the uh, could you ask it after her I would like to say it fast right now. Okay, let me ask. This is the last thing I have to say, and I think it's, it's very important. The uh, Constellation Sirius, you, you offer me with the information coming from the Dogon tribe about Sirius, right? Uh, yes, sir. I've had, especially in Atlanta, quite a few brothers to tell me about it. Well, it's, but it's, it's uh, very important. The uh, Sewer of the Star 53, I think it's verse 49, says... Uh, and he is the Lord of Sirius, Allah. So there, there is some very significant, Sirius is significant in this scenario that's, that's taking place right now of the redemption of the uh, black man. And I, I, I ask every, everybody, don't be surprised if things don't happen exactly the way that we think that it's going to happen. You know, So don't count Louis Farrakhan out. Yeah. Oh, no. He's not to be counted out. But he's to be counted to do what he's you know, pre uh, predicted to do. However, as far as what he's doing now, as supposed to be still building a nation or giving a message, the time for the message is over, and he's not been the one commissioned to build no nation. So that particular activity he's in error with. However, he still has to 
introduced a messenger. And the knowledge that is coming, uh, messages that are being sent from other star systems and other forms of life in the universe, it is to back me up. Matter of fact, they contact me and, well, they want me to speed up sometime a little bit. They want to go into motion, do certain things. However, there's still some other life forms that's in the universe or close to us that we don't allow to come. Because they are buying for this planet, so to say. This is a planet in their eyesight that is doing nothing. And they would like to have it. But it don't belong to them. The brother's pretty wise. However, the black man here in North America is the one that's the new man. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Um, I hear a lot about the mathematical um, equations and the mathematical um, code to the universe. And I do believe that mathematics is Islam and Islam is mathematics and everything must add up. Um, I heard you say a lot about that we need to know these certain codes. And, you know, it's just like you said, the black man... Um, He's a hard, he's a hard man. We've, we've, we've been made that way. But I think that um, for those of us, I am a member of the Nation of Islam. And for those of us who apply the teachings of the messenger, who also apply um, the, the reminders message to us from the messenger, because the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan never, ever steps in the seat of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he never leaves him out. He um, always in, in, includes him in everything that he says and does. I'd like to say that I've been listening tonight, and I'm, I came here expecting to hear something different, expecting to hear something that I've never heard before, because it says that after Elijah, Eli, uh, Allah must come. Then he would come himself. And... I mean, uh, I have, I'll just be honest, and I mean no disrespect, I, I have not heard anything to, to suggest that there's anything different than what, you, what you're saying that is different from the messenger's teachings. I only hear, uh, actually, reminders of what he said. Well, let, me say, let me say this. I made a statement. This is why... <laughs> Allah is, uh, is so smooth, most of the time you miss it. I made the statement that you control the speaker. So if you want to hear something powerful, you want to hear something you haven't had before, ask me. But you don't know what to ask me. You can't recognize what you've heard. You, you, you all are hung up on the era of time that the minister is in. Now, this may be insulting to you, but that, it, it, well, if it isn't very good, the fact remains that he's only a minister. Now, if I make the statement, and the statement is true, if I ask you a question, I'm controlling what you how you going to what you going to say, or I'm controlling you. If you're going to answer, if you submit to answer my questions, then however it go, it depends upon how I. What I ask. So if you want to hear something that you never heard before, what is it that you want to know? Sir, if there's something that you have to say to us, how that's can not, I, no, no, how no, can no, I no, ask no, you? No, wait, no, that's not the way. I ask you a question. Wait a minute. If, if, if you're coming okay. to tell us something. No, 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 but that, but that ain't what I said. That ain't what I said. Wait, 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 just, wait, 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 just, wait, just, wait, just, wait, don't take her mind off me. This way it comes back to listening again. I said in the beginning... I didn't come to tell you nothing. Because if I told you what I wanted you to know, you sure wouldn't understand what I'm saying. I made the statement that I allow you to ask me questions so you can get the understanding of what you want to know. So now, like I said again, you hear what you want to hear. In your mind, I'm supposed to tell you something. I didn't say that. I didn't say that, sister. If you want to hear something dynamite, ask me a dynamite question. Okay, sir. Well, I like to say, I like to also make a reference to what this brother in front of me said about, uh, you know, when you have respect, we supposed to have respect for you. But to have respect also, for everybody. excuse me, sir. Also, me as an individual, me as a black woman deserves respect also. And I was not finished asking my question before this person, this person, and that person. Did I put him in said, check? Excuse me, sir. Did I put him in check? Um, 
Did I put them in check? Yes, sir, but I wasn't so, finished. All right, all right sister, so we don't have to go there. In other words, okay. they're not the speaker. I am. Okay. If I seen them, wait now, if I seen them do something in error, I stopped them. So then you can't charge me for that. I stopped it. Okay, yes, sir. That that's right. fine. But what I'm I'm saying is that <laughs> you cut me off as well. I, I wasn't finished, and I'm giving you due respect, sir, to when you began to ask ask answer my question that I don't say anything to you. That's that's part of uh of, of respect out of from from me and you. But I, I mean I don't want I just wanted to say that. But I, I mean um it's like you're saying that uh you know, I haven't asked you any questions that I needed to know. To me, when I heard the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and I heard the uh, Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, he said to me things that I never knew. He said to me things that made me think. There was nothing that I heard tonight that I have not already heard as far as to, I mean, how am I supposed to ask a question about something that I, I do not know? You're supposed to make yourself known. And in my opinion, sir, uh, everything that I've heard tonight is, is actually... Um, in your opinion of the messenger's teaching, in your opinion of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And I, and I do, I think that uh, for those of us who apply ourselves to the messenger's teachings, that uh, he gives us full mathematical equations. Well, let me ask you we question. must think about Let me ask you a question, if I may. Yes, Since you know the messenger's teachings. In English lesson C1, It states in the lessons, in English lesson C1, about you swimming 9,000 miles back home. Do you, you recall that? You don't recall that. Well, do you know why English lesson C1 is called English lesson C1? No, ma'am, I didn't ask you to give me permission. I asked you a question. Yes, sir. Do you know why? I have an idea, yes, sir. See, just the point of thinking. I didn't ask you what she had an idea of. I'm not making mockery. And don't be, don't be so frustrated. Take your time. I'm showing you something. I'm really showing you something. Since you and I are carrying on the dialogue. I did interrupt you. I'm asking the question now. Since you don't know what to ask me, I'm going to ask you some things. Just the fact of being specific. If I ask you, do you know? We are so orientated to always tell people what we think what we wish, what we believe. That wasn't the question. When you are orientated to actually be specific, then you can start to see your growth. You haven't asked me if you want to know something that is phenomenal in your mind, in your mind. Then that's what you asked me. For me to come and tell you, do you know what you're going to look like in year 2023? 20, you don't know, do you? Why don't you ask me? I'm not interested in that. You see? I'm actually interested in how to um, make it, brother. I'm, 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 I am actually interested well, in how this, to then. make it let me ask you the, this. Uh, hereafter. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Did you know how long the night was? Excuse me? Did you know how long the night was? The night? The night that was spoken about in the lessons uh, overnight. You knew how long it was? Yes, sir. How long was it? The, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that the night that we lived in was the 40 years that he was amongst us. You see? You see? Well, sir, That's an error. You, if it is, no, sir, I cannot. And I think it's very disrespectful for you to say that. Sir, um, if Dr. Like said, you know, if there's, if, you, if there's a question about you saying, well, how long is the night? You know, it's like, why don't you say it? Why, why, I mean, if you're going to yeah, come I, and teach I have us said something. That. I have said that. That's why I asked you this question to show you. You were saying that you haven't heard nothing. You haven't, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, sister, wait a minute. I'm not no pushover. No, no, I mean, no, no, you, you have made the statement. You didn't hear nothing new, nothing, you know, nothing's back. You heard it, but you never accepted it. You, you came with preconceived ideas with your ears closed. I asked you a few things you said. You claim you know about the messenger's teaching. I asked you two questions you didn't know. And then I asked you about the night. You said I never said it. I told you about the night. How long it was. At least I told you. I made it. Now, if you didn't hear it, that's your, that's your fault. Out, sir. Out. No, you were standing right there. Oh, I didn't hear 
You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me going about from 1975 to, to year 2000. You didn't hear that. You see. So, but you're still waiting to hear something. What you, I'm giving the answer to the brothers. What you need to hear is what I'm actually telling you. These things is. Who are you? You didn't make the night, and you don't call it that. That's not intelligent at all, sister. That's not intelligent at all. Well, you may have a seat. Now, this is what the minister is producing. That's pitiful. That's pitiful. As we said today, um, that you judge a man by the fruit it bears. Um, and I'll... Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Just leave her alone. She's going. Just let her go. Regardless of what you think, sister, it doesn't make any difference about that. It doesn't make any difference. You see? But this is what the minister has produced. People ask questions. And the significance of that, but until that happens, look what he has produced. Where is the difference in the sister that was standing up almost cussing me out and what she did? Here's a sister that came up, she, her dress let me know that she wasn't with this. This sister comes up dressed like a Muslim and going to disrespect, I haven't said anything that she can prove that's wrong. You see, that's pitiful. I hope the brother, and this is something else too, you know, when, 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 when I go to the uh, uh, Minister uh, Farrakhan's uh, meetings and whatnot, I make sure I respect him. I don't talk when he's talking. I don't have nothing to say. He only talks about three or four hours. I can wait that long. I don't have to do that. I don't disrespect the man. It appears to me, everybody that comes from him, they come to see me, they got something to say about it, or they got to stand up and defend him as though he can't defend it. I don't know what I'm talking about. If I'm telling you that I operate from math alone, from math, not from what he said, it ain't nothing personal between he and I. The very evidence of what she did bore witness that something is wrong that's coming from him. You see, you may say no, but the evidence speaks clearer than that. You're speaking personally. The map says yes. You can ignore it if you want to. But I am the man. So when that takes place, and the judgment's got to come, what? yes, sir, you should take your... We paid for this place. We paid for this place for you to come. I'm here to let you know I got something started for you to go to work in and be active. Not selling no final calls. That's antiquated. It's out of time. We let the white man go on out in space and take a peep in heaven. Why you still walking around selling bean pies, incense, and the final call? That's out of time. That's making me look like I'm a fool. God, this is man representing God with a final call. How long is the final call going to go? Any thinking person can see something is wrong with that picture. However, to bear witness that it's wrong, hey, you come, you disrespect, you talk while I'm talking. She comes up and tell me, sir, try to insult me politely. You never invited me to your house. Or you ain't holding no meeting and invite me and I come sit and listen to your knowledge. This is, I'm not, I'm not pointing fingers. These are just things to think about. You know, like Arsenio Hall used to say, hmm. <laughs> just things to think about. Now, if I came up and said, well, I'm going to kill the minister. I don't like him. I hate him. Then you got the right things to wait a minute. This man has lost his mind. I said, if you are going, him too, if he's going to make it, well, she said in the hereafter, uh, if I'd asked her, where is the hereafter? She probably would have said, if she, the best she could have said is what the messenger taught you here after the removal of Satan. If she studied the messenger's teaching. But from now until then, where are you going? When I bring the fire down on your hind parts, and the hereafter is going to be a thousand years after the fire comes, where are you going to be during a thousand years? You see, she don't know. The minister don't know. If he did, he would have told you. Because he's in a position of knowledge, and that position in the time requires that you share it. You're not supposed to have knowledge and don't share it. If you got it, at this particular time for this black man, if you got it, it's incumbent upon you that you share it. He can't share what he don't have. You see? 
That's why she become offended because I'm answering something more than what her minister can answer. So that's an offense to her. That's the way the sisters feel about him. They will kill you over the minister. But they're not going to kill me because I'm their God and the minister's God. You see? So she's acting out of emotion, not knowledge. And if you, if she had a husband, I don't know if you're a husband or not. If she has a husband and if the man is a man, don't no woman get up and confront no man like that. That don't happen. If my wife wants to get up to a speaker, I don't care if he is the minister or talking crazy. And she get up and do something like that, I let her know. Look, uh, that's all right, uh, brother minister. Uh, what, uh, I, uh, uh, I ask your forgiveness for her because I'm, I'm about to deal with her. <laughs> you don't do that. And that shows you the level of respect that the black woman has for the man. You got one that's a Christian come here and cuss me out. She know about, more about me than I know about myself. Then we get one that is supposed to know me that's in the nation in the nation of Islam. That's supposed to know something about Allah, has some type of awareness. She only knows about the minister. Forget Allah. And I'm started off telling you how to judge whether I'm legit or not. Go from the map. Leave your feelings out of it. But a woman, we made her with feelings. We took that from us, not all of it, quite a bit of it, and placed it into this that body. So they act quite a bit on their feelings. But you, brother, if she came with you, or you all were the two delegated to come, what not? That's your wife? Yeah. Well, I should hope you uh, let her know that that's highly out of order. Well, brother, um, you, you are, you are totally That's all, let, let, let him speak. Let, let him speak. That, um, she, she did get emotional, but um, she does, and and then and, and anyone who does have uh, who does defend whatever it is it is they believe is is right and exact, they'll go to sometimes extreme lengths to do so. So emotion is something that that does take a play in in the way that people um the way that people answer and and the things that they say. But um, I'm not trying to uh to to uh contradict what it is you say out of my mere um belief it's just that it's just that i just seem to see a different understanding um from what i have uh learned of the honorable Elijah muhammad's history when you use the um connotation that he passed away um brother farrakhan and the uh the bible from my understanding bears witness of a, a, a symbolic story of the honorable Elijah muhammad's work here that was um in the story of Job, how Satan had said he was going to consume him, but he said, I could only do so if you take that hedge from around him. I know you're very familiar with it. And he said, I'll make him curse you to your face. He said, OK, I'll remove that hedge and you can you can um, assault my man. But the only thing that I won't let you do is take his life. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was persecuted in that same manner where he was um, castigated for the amount of years that he was here as a very um um um. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, di diabolical man, and he had a, he was a philanderous man in terms of the amount of women it was that he had. But that would be contradictory if he taught us how to eat to live, and he said he could teach the the uh, the, the the proper teaching of one meal a day to to eat to live for many hundreds of years. Then how could he have passed at an age of seventy five if he himself was living the teachings of eating to live? Well, this is uh, this is evidence that you operating on a belief you don't know you're not using math even if he was allowed to be styled as Job and we say well we're not going to allow you to take his life the devil didn't take his life the weight of black people's ignorance gave us the reason to take him and give him another body the messenger is back not as you knew him in that body if you read in the Quran, it reads that Allah has the knowledge to bring, recreate you, even down to your very fingertips. You all make me very, very weak in your mind. Very weak. I'm very limited in your mind. Allah can't, you speak about Allah, but when it comes to reality of how Allah really do things, I, in your mind, I can't really do nothing. I can't bring him back. He got to be in the same body. Where does it come, where does it come where I let everybody know? Because of what Elijah did in the body of Elijah, I'm petrifying that body. So that when people see the happiness.
nothingness of what was brought about because of what he did start started got started as the messenger. They can see, they can look upon this body and see what it looked like that got it started. But the body that we knew him in as Elijah, or Elijah Poo, or Elijah Muhammad, back in 1975, the angels or the scientists took his body and petrified it. Like you see them trees out there, and, and, and well, they, that's what we've done to his body. We gave him a new body, a new body. Very easy to do, very easy to do. However, if you think, well, he could have ate right and never passed. No, sir. I don't care how much right eating you do in this of this food, you're going to pass. It reads, and then, and then again, you're still not thinking about what the messenger said. After me comes God himself. You don't know what the messenger is, and you haven't seen him since 1975. I can tell you where he is, what he did, where he was at, what he's going to do, because I'm the one that's doing it. But because I look like you, I'm a black man. I look maybe not too old. I'm not old enough to have this kind of knowledge of wisdom. So you're going to stick to what the minister said that the messenger said, and you don't carry it all the way through. You lose. This is making you to ignore the absolute truth in front of your face. This is like a, a, a man coming home wanting to take his son with him, and his son don't want to go because he, he don't want to, he don't want to leave his mother. But his mother. Is paying tribute to the father. That's what you all are doing. That's what you are doing to yourself. You're ignoring the father. You going with what the ministers say that the messenger was the father. The messenger wasn't the father. He was a woman standing on the moon, closed in the sun. A woman. He stood in the position of a woman. He is the mother. The father is Master Farad Muhammad. However, of the knowledge, it is Allah, me. So now that is taking place, I'm back as the father in my fullness in the time that I said I would come to carry you on further. You can't leave your mother. See, it takes some thinking. And if what will tell you if the knowledge of what the minister, what you say the minister is teaching is really effective, your wife would have maintained her emotions. She didn't have enough knowledge to contain herself. Knowledge is what gives you patience. If you got enough knowledge, it will give you patience. If you have very little knowledge, you fly off the handle. Now, these people that come here, they didn't come here to hear uh, the brother nor the other sister or your, or your wife disrespect. They didn't come here for that. You're not the only ones that's here. And if you feel like, well, I'm with the minister and everybody here that's not with the minister, they don't know what's going on, so I have the right to speak to this man because I have one. No, sir, you don't have no more right than nobody else. The only thing that will give you right if you're civilized in asking them your question. And then when you come back to give back to me what I gave you, you distorted it. Sir, you said so and so and so. And sir, I didn't say I was sir. I said I'm allowed. You see, but your knowledge, don't, you don't have none. So that's because you don't have none, it allows you to insult me. And because I don't have no negative, I don't react to the insult. Because I still want you to learn. I still want you to learn. Now, if they're going to affect the rest of the people, oh, well, then they got to go. That's all. If your wife knew how to keep her emotions down with her, she'd come back. I don't have nothing against her. Or the brother, either one, anybody that left here, I don't have nothing against them. They got it against themselves. They put themselves in boundaries where they will receive so much and they're not going to receive this as though they God. Believe me, brother. Some places I've been to and people have insulted me above and beyond what they should do. And I let them know I'm leaving here so and so day. You better get out too because I got something coming because of you. And I tore the place up. I went down to Louisville, Kentucky. They treated me like a dog down there as far as the people. And once they came and talked to me, they came and told me how the people talked about me. I said, oh really? I took out half of their city almost. I'm still alive. It's just that you don't know it. And because you don't know it, it don't mean that I'm not. And because your wife don't mean it, it don't mean that I'm not. A minister is a minister. The messenger never said, look for a minister after me. And I never said the messenger is dead. I said by me being alive, we have made him another body and he's in the body and enjoying himself. I can't bring him before you because you're ignorant. 
and I'm charging the minister for the ones that did come to Islam that want to know something. I'm charging him for keeping you ignorant. You still don't know nothing. If he had accepted the new book, you would have known something because it would have came through him. But he didn't accept it. He didn't accept it. Now you're not accepting me either. So both of you ignorant. No disrespect to you. I'm saying it as a fact. However, you don't have to remain that way. You don't have to remain. All you got to do is open your ears. It's got to add up mathematically. You don't put Farrakhan in it. You don't even put me in it. You don't put the messenger in it. Just use the formula. Don't say, well, the messenger said so and so and so, so that's what I'm going to do. The messenger said it. He's the man that was of God. Let me see how this is right. Let me, he said that Islam is math and math is Islam, and I got to learn how to use the math so I can uh, get some of these benefits of life, some of these th happiness, things of life while I live. He didn't say, uh, uh, the messenger is the messenger, and I got to embrace the messenger so I can get something to happen. No, he said, you got to learn how to use the math. So that's what I said, do. So when you charge me for doing anything other than that, you are losing, not me. Yes, ma'am. Would you let the brother speak? Because he have not seen him. Well, let him well, like sit down. Um, my question was, without me understanding the math, is there any way for me to understand how you are alive? Uh, <laughs> you mean other than using the math? Right. If it is, I don't know how. Okay. In other words, even in the simplest form of it, if you know how... You know, you say one plus one, or the, your timetable is one plus one is two... You might say, well, that's very simple. Everybody knows that. However, you got to know it so that you can have a base to equate things that is more complicated. It only got complicated because of the many different uses of that simple thing. So I don't know of any other way that will show you if I'm allowed or not in a real sense other than using the formula of creation, the math. And when I say we have mathematical thinking classes that we go to or that uh, you go and you discuss certain things and it is just like it, to give an example if I'm talking with a sister and I'm showing her she's telling me I didn't say anything new then I start showing her what she missed in her mind it was so nothing wasn't worth her wasn't even worth her she didn't hear nothing however that's what you need to hear if you don't hear that and get that you don't need to go to step five you miss one two three and four you see so once you get that down, then you got it. You got it. You got it. It ain't no such thing. You following something. All in the, the brother there can tell you, the Rasta can tell you, everything you need is before you. It's in the atmosphere. All you got to know how to do is know how to pull it out. But there's the formula of knowing how to do it. It just ain't going to drop right on you. Math is how you do it. Now, the more complicated you get into it, the more you have learned the simple things. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So that's the only way. Now I can say, well, look, there have been brothers come. Uh, I, we went to uh, uh, Mobile, Alabama, Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, Alabama. A brother came up. He had a a disease where his bones was fusing itself together. He couldn't sit down. He had a high chair. He came, you know, when he had to, you know, he had to lean back on the chair. He couldn't sit down. He had been in that situation for some time and it was growing worse he said he was with the messenger I looked at the brother he'd been everywhere nobody could heal him he'd been to these places where the people lay hands on you and you fall like supposed to be healed and all that. He really, otherwise the brother because he's hurting so he tried everything so he came up he said I'm not asking this to see if you God from what I heard I believe you are I have an illness and he told me what he had. And because the brother said that he believed that I am, and he was honest in it, I told the brother, I said, well, what I'll do, I'll take 70% of your pain away right now. Why are you standing at the mic? I took it away from him. He said that he has never felt so good in his life since he's been that way. I took only 70% because I didn't take the time to look back in his life to see why he was ever that way. You know, I might have put it on him now, I come and take it off me. <laughs> you, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I got, however, that type of thing, if people sitting there looking at it and seeing it, they say, oh yeah, he God. Because I seen him do that. That does not prove that I'm God. That only proves something good happened for that person if they see it to be good. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. 
The only true way, the only true way that I know of, you got to use math. Yes, sir. Got to use it. I had to use it. The messenger had to use it. Every intelligent man that I know had to use it. Matter of fact, it's in our lessons. The only way we got in this miserable condition is through mathematics. I've never been in the nation. Uh, I'm Muslim, but I've never been in the nation. Okay, brother. Well, uh, you know, the knowledge is here. You stay in touch with us, and whatever you need, you'll get it. I appreciate your patience. Yes, ma'am. I just wanted to say, um, basically, the brother's gone, but he may get to take that uh, no matter what type of emotions that the sister expressed out of her love for the minister, uh, I, I love you truly because you're my father. And uh, you, number one, taught me uh, how to have the patience to control any any particular type of emotion that would come up and then we would ha have sister fighting sister or brother fighting brother and that's not going to free any of us out of the hellish conditions that we're in. Right. Um, however, uh, I still see it as, like you shared, the, the, it has to be a, the minister's fault in this sense. For that type of teaching to be shared and then that type of action be given or expressed is not Muslim. That's not what the messenger taught, and it, and it surely isn't what you're teaching. So in the Holy Quran, it reads that we're supposed to seek Allah diligently in everything that we do. True. So how, how are we supposed to just be content with just the minister? The messenger said that Allah raised him up to share a mess message, and that if whoever accepted the message, they would receive uh, money, friendship, uh, good homes and friendships, and peace of mind and contentment overnight. Peace of mind and contentment isn't just knowing the minister. Right. So, and the messenger taught us that we weren't supposed to be in this world because Allah is going to destroy it. It's going to burn for approximately so many years and cool off for approximately so many years. So why we want to vote to get back in the world? The, his, the minister is charging his people to get out and vote and, and, and have a fund drive for to register other black people to vote. The messenger never taught that that was going to be the answer. And by the messenger stating that after him comes Allah himself and that one was yet to be known, everybody knew the minister uh, back when the messenger said it. So we we don't know the people did, don't know you per se as being Allah, but it, it's in harmony with what was written that Allah would come suddenly to the temple, that Allah would have to come Himself and clear up all confusion amongst about Himself. So we see in all this love for the minister, but here, if we truly supposed to seek Allah diligently in everything that we do. Then when the man stands and says he is indeed Allah, how could you disrespect even having the thought that this might be a possibility that it is true and constantly put in Allah's face the minister? So the minister is supposed to have been reminded and keeping everybody's eyes on Allah. The messenger kept everybody's eyes on Allah through the message. So when we hear always about even the minister said, had, had a tape in 1984 that don't refer to me as the honorable anymore. Right. He said, I'm not the honorable. I'm just your brother. He said, I don't give me honor. Don't even say that. But now he's the honorable. And now the, and so that makes the messenger the honorable. So that makes the minister equal to what the messenger did. So they both honorable. No, 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 no. And now here's Allah, the supreme being standing before us. I love you. And I'll take somebody out in a heartbeat, but I, I follow instructions. And it reads, you don't kill no one unless Allah order you to. But the main thing is that what I don't, and it's not about me. However, as the brother spoke about the math, you have more than just one person in here. You ain't a vacuum in a vacuum. And if we listening, the sister said you didn't say nothing new. You said you traveled on a created ship to go into the sun. The minister never said that. The messenger said that um, the, sci this, the scientist that uh, runs the ships. You said one of them took you, a couple of them took you into toward the universe and into the sun. You can even go into what it was like and what have you. The minister said that it may be treat the woman with love and respect and honor her because through her womb may come a messiah. We got to wait till somebody get pregnant and have a child. And he said it may be your children's children to lead you into the hereafter. That's not what the messenger said. He gave an approximate time was when the messenger, the, when the, a 
power will come. He said you're witnessing the setting of one sun and the rising of another. And if it pleases Allah, I'll be back with him, but I'll be gone for approximately a season. So what is the minister teaching them? And he said he's pointing to a blown up picture of the messenger and a blown up picture of Master Fry Muhammad. And he keeps saying, I'm going to go away and be with them. But he hasn't went yet. He has a three year economical program that's into five years. He has a, uh, a, a fund drive to sell papers and he said it'd be the final call that will lead us financially, economically out of hell. If you're blowing on the winds like Son of Man is commissioned to do, the final call ain't going to last in the wind. So that's for a thinking man and woman that really want to be saved. That really want to not get caught up in the hell fight. So I had to like say my piece because I know a woman have to vent. And I, I wanted it to be known that you're not no poo but God and you have no poo but sisters with you either. So like, well, like well, <laughs> well, that is true. I may stand up and look like when nobody's with me. Most of the time you see very few people when I'm in this type of setting because everybody else is working. That's right, you know, I, everybody that is actually with me, I don't bring them with me. They're, actually, they're on the farms, they're in the, they're, they're in the projects or in the housing development that we're doing. we got a, the, the cleaning project or, 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 or services that we're doing, the restaurants, the supermarkets. We're working. So then when you see me, you think, well, he's by himself. We only got one or two people. He ain't got nobody really with me. You don't see. It's the same thing like the Quran reads. You see Allah or you see the angel, but you don't see the host of the angels that's with him. So that's what's happening. And naturally, yes, I know you all have, you know, it's a hurting thing for you see people keep disrespecting me in this way. And they think because I'm so humble looking. They can just say anything or do anything. But believe me, this is very treacherous ground. Believe me, yes, man. Oh, uh, I know you. I seen you before. Oh, all right. All right, yes, man. Yes, man. <laughs> Father. I bring you greetings from the um, family in Tallahassee. Yes, they, um, most of them wanted to be here. And boy, I know they wish they were here. <laughs> <laughs> but we love you. And as most people who are here, seeing you for the first time, um, we're glad that you brought mathematical thinking to Tallahassee because that's the only thing that keeps us going, that we know that we are on the right road. And um, I don't have a question or anything, but they wanted me to send you the greetings. Yes, ma'am. And um, we love you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Love you all, too. <laughs> yes, sir. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum as um, I would like to say, earlier we were talking and it was a nice atmosphere and we were talking about respecting one another and then you went on to talk about how the messenger felt about the Honorable Louis Farrakhan and, um, and about respecting about his love for him and, and he wanted you uh, a lot to save his life and watch over him. Right. Okay. But... Um, I just seen the sisters get up and they totally disrespect the brother. Like, you know what I mean? Like he's not doing any work with our people. You know, and I, and I can't, I couldn't sit down and just not say nothing with them disrespecting him in that manner because. Well, let me say this. Let me say this before you make a determination. Yes, sir. What is respect and what is not respect. When you don't know what the instruction says, this is like saying that, uh, Say if you got a business yes, sir. and uh, you catering and you dispatch your driver on his route. Now his route goes right by my street. This particular day, I'm angry because the truck is ruined and I don't want it. So I run out of the street and stop him and threaten him, dare him to come down the street anymore. But I don't know where he's going. Don't know where he came from. I'm only concerned about that little spot that he's passing in my house. Therefore, I'm in error. This is the same thing when you don't know these people that, that, that just spoke. If they know Allah because they've been with me. And if you're with me, I don't leave you the way that I find you. you I elevate you. It's automatic. It's elevation. 
It would be something different if they didn't know that I had already gone to Minister Farrakhan. I'm already putting up years of his rejection and seeing him kill you. Mm -hmm. Now, they know this. Then when they come up to show their love for me, like the sister and the brother try to show their ignorant love for the minister, Mm -hmm. then how is that disrespect? They gave facts about what the minister is doing. If it's an insult, it's an insult to you. They didn't lie. The only true insult is someone tells a lie on you. That's a true insult. However, if they tell the truth concerning what you're doing, if both of us is in the same process of lifting the black man up back in his right position and there is one that has more power, knowledge and wisdom to do that while the other one refuses to do it and keeps others from doing it. How can you say anything good about him? You can only say what he's doing and because he's doing it, it always comes out as though it's a negative. However, it's a fact. So it's not an insult on him or disrespect. It is what he is doing. So it's not an insult. I was the one that's insulted. They didn't cut them off. They stayed there. When they started to tell the sister, look, you got to go to this course. I know who the man is. I know who he is. You don't know. It's safety that I do move here because if you do make him angry, can nothing save you? If he got angry at you for a split second, ain't nothing nobody could do about it. So in in essence, really, they're doing a favor. They didn't lie about the minister. I was with him 1990 and 91. I explained to him everything that he needed to know. He bore witness he couldn't do nothing with it. He said he went to bed with it. He slept with it. He got up with it. He ate with it. He couldn't find nothing wrong, but he's not going to accept it. If he couldn't find nothing wrong with it, why not accept it? It's not that I asked him to accept it for just him. Here's a man that's sitting, sitting in the seat of salvation for a whole people. Not a race, but a whole people. And this whole people is the original people. What he said, well, this is their liberation. I'm not accepting it. So now, I show mercy and don't kill him. So I said, well, if he's not going to accept I have to do it myself. So I'll have the clean glass. People will be able to see the dirty glass. And the ones that can see the dirty glass better is the ones that has been taught and is being taught by me universal knowledge. So they see what he's doing. They see it, evident, plain, plain, clear. So when it comes to a place like this, they're not going to just sit and say nothing. So when they tell what he's actually doing to the ones that don't know them, oh, they insulted the minister. They didn't insult the minister. He insulted himself by his own actions. This is simple as that. Okay, and one more thing I'd like to say is, in behalf of that sister and that brother, I'm also a part of Nation Islam. And you know when you you should know when you hear something new for the first time and it's different than what you've been used to hearing, you quick to defend what you already know, and that's that's pro- probably what happened. Well, with, see, you with said, everybody they was quick to to defend what they already know, not saying that it was math- mathematically right for them to defend it, but just like a child. Well, let me ask you this, then, brother. Thank uh, you. Uh, you can stand up if you like. I just want to ask you a question because I want you to answer it. You were saying, that if I'm a lie, I should know this. I didn't know it. This is why I prepped what should take place before you asked me the questions. I went over it more than once. So that if you wanted to ask something, if you wanted to keep it on a civilized manner, use the formula. I said that. Now, regardless of what you say, You cannot excuse away their behavior. Their love for the minister is for him. They had no love for knowledge or truth. And you can't say they didn't hear anything new. They heard it. They didn't accept it. And if the new was against the minister in such a way that it was insulting, they would have a right. But I didn't bring it in a way where it was insulting against him. They asked me about the Million Man March. I explained, did I do that and commission that? No, I didn't. I got to tell the truth. Why should I say, well, yeah, I did it. I'm going to take the glory for the people feeling good. But then the rest of the part, I didn't have nothing to do with. No, it has to be done. It has to be done right. It's as simple as that. So, yes, I understand, but it still don't make them right. My last question. When is it, when is Louis Farrakhan supposed to turn the nation over to, to you? Well, 
It may be before the year is out. However, however, when he should have turned it over was in 1990. However, since he didn't do that, more likely it would be before the year is out. And uh, it won't be because he wants to. It's already written in prophecy. If you knew who you're reading about. That we made him go where he didn't want to go. But he had no choice. By you listening today. And although the sister got all the emotion on her husband sitting here listening whatnot, He'll talk with her. If they get the tape, if you get it whatnot, and you listen. You will hear that there was nothing against the minister. It's only pure math that we're speaking. If you're going to live by that, you will see that I didn't tell you a lie. I'm in my proper place doing what I'm doing. Then, how are you going to see the minister? If he knew about this in 1990, why don't you know something about it? Like I was speaking in California, the brother got so angry. He said, I see this brother Solomon like the minister has kept me from my God six years. Now, I had to talk to the brother. I said, well, no, that, yes, that he has done. But since you realize it, let it go. Just go ahead and start with the map. Just start with that. Forget that. I'll take care of him. If you go to step in and do something to him, then you're going to step in some dangerous territory. He belongs to me. He belongs to the righteous. But he told the truth. You see? So all of you all that's in love with the minister here and everywhere in this country, whatnot. Remember what happened. He went to Mount Hor. We sent him there, stripped him of his arraignment, and he died there. He was supposed to be 40 years old, according to the book, when he died. However, he didn't really die until he was 123. You see? By the way, what it means is as soon as he disobeyed me, his death was sealed. It was imminent. What he did from 40 years old to 123 didn't make no difference. He had to go and come back. And what he did is keeping you from me. He's standing in between us. So much so that we witness this today. And my daughter, I raised her. She came from the sun to be with me as the mother of civilization. Not because she's a female, but because what she really is, her genetic makeup. And by me teaching her, she's a part of me. She represents one of the nine planets. See, but Farquhar don't teach you this. A representative from each one of the planets is with me because they have to go and duplicate what I'm doing here on this planet. And they're on their planet. You see? He could have been told you this. We could have been stood a wasting time chasing white folks to try to make them do something that we didn't make them to do. You could have been much further in building our nation yes. and being happy. It's as simple as that. Now, our likes and dislikes don't have nothing to do with it. This is why. I'm not going to do nothing to tell it. I'm not going to do nothing to hear the Jacksonville. Y'all in a hell of a place anyhow. You know, you, you are. You, you really don't know what Jacksonville is. Matter of fact, you don't know what the state of Florida is. We know what Jacksonville You do? Yeah. It's not a good place. That's all I know. It's one of the uh, places that you at this particular time for the, for the simple reason that we have right information in Jacksonville. And, and as I said before, don't give up on Louis Farrakhan because he still has the opportunity to do what he's supposed to do. And there were two guys, Farad Muhammad and Haley Selassie, and half the story has never been told. And just like you stand there and as powerful and positive as you are, there's another side of the story. And, right, well, and, 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 and it's Rastafari, and, and it can be proven. Oh, we're not, we don't have an no argument here. What I'm, saying, what, what I'm saying now, the state of Florida, the state of Florida. Jacksonville has the St. John's River. I know, it flows in. Right, right. So the same information that the people that built the pyramids with is here in Jacksonville. That same information that, that laid the foundation for everything that exists is here in Jacksonville. Are you going to stay here? Pardon me? Are you going to stay here? Uh, it's, it's not a matter of standing. When, when time comes, we all, we all got to leave when that time comes. So you being here now on the 26th is very significant because it corresponds with Surah 26, the poets. And the poets uh, uh, takes you to the, uh, 
the the uh, prophets, and it takes you all the way back to you know all the way back to heaven. Well, let me let me let me explain what I meant about Florida not being a good place. Places are places. What makes them important or not is the people that's there controlling it. When you leave, in other words, you're saying that Florida is one of the best places to be. Jackson. Uh, Jackson, Jacksonville, Florida is one of the best places to be because of the people that has the knowledge to make the river run the way it does in the pyramids and whatnot. Because the key word is because of the people, not the place. Now, that's why I ask you, are you planning on staying here? If you're planning on staying here, even during the fire and whatnot, maybe I say, well, yeah, Jacksonville's a good place. But if you're going to leave, I would suggest that people know about you and leave when you leave, or they got to know me, because I got something for this place. Let me have the mic. Let me have the mic. Do you all understand what he said? Well, one of the reasons that I know that you that that you are who, <laughs> who you say you are because you you mentioned the number fifty thousand. Now, if you wouldn't say fifty thousand, I mean, I, I would have had to say that you that you was you was wrong. But that's that's what we based this thing on is the number fifty thousand. Because if you subtract six thousand from uh, fifty thousand, you have forty four thousand, and that's uh, they, that's how many times the floods and already came. So the pyramid is forty five stories high. I mean, up up above ground and this time that everything will be totally destroyed so so that 50,000 every 50 years are put patolo circles are serious and serious beating all that thing like that so that's what lets me know that you're exact and right but the only problem I have is he just too hard on Louis Farrakhan the man will do right and if if he don't he'll have to be well, taken out i mean if, if the thing he don't, is, no he, he, he got to do what he got to do what you know what's prophesied him to do yeah, however when, when you say let me, let me say to you this we leave the minister out of this that's all all right oh man in the quran it talks about giving a certain person a chastisement on this side. And then Allah has another grievous and painful chastisement on the other side. What does that mean? And another thing, if it's only one man that has what the eye hasn't seen, the ear hasn't heard, nor has it been conceived in your heart, what is it that the rest of I have that's greater than that? You have the knowledge of what's on this side. So if I say Florida is not a good place, it's because you don't have the knowledge of what I have about the other side. You see? So this is why I listen to what you're saying. However, maybe I should explain more of what I say when I say something, the, the dynamics of it. The, the studying of the numbers. And I understand totally what you're saying. But it's for the benefit of the followers because I know and you know that there's going to come a time when we're going to sit down to the table and we're going to come straight. Everything's going to have to be straight and that time is at hand. But see, these followers get so caught up in the person until they don't really realize the, the, uh, the, the uh, mechanics of this whole thing by you saying that you're God. Well, this is what I have to do. In other words, I have to do this. Because I am. That's what is expected. That's who is expected to come. Now, I'm coming doing this. If nobody from Minister Farrakhan came, we wouldn't even got into it. They come and ask me the question. I answered the question. It's not that I came down, I want to tell you about Minister Farrakhan. I didn't do that. I came and they asked me the question. I told the truth. If it was offensive to them, I answered the question. However, this is what makes it so touchy between he and I. They're looking at him as the leader. Leader. I'm not a leader. Even just under the name Solomon is not a leader. He says he's a king. So there's two people on the scene talking about doing the same thing. Naturally, if one is coming after a known one, they're going to ask me, well, what legitimation have you have? Do you have? That's with this man. So I can't just say, well, 
hands off. I can't touch him. I can't give no explanation about him. And they never will pay no attention to me. And I really am the man. So I have to answer. So re- I'll say it again. In regards to how abrasive it may seem, this is I'm a man that does not put on nobody more than what they can bear. I didn't put nothing wrong on the minister. I'm pointing out what's wrong. And the, there's no more time for followers. It's not written that we raise up a reminder for you to follow the reminder. It's written that you are to follow Elijah. That's all. Anybody that comes after Elijah other than Allah, they're just like the follower. He's a follower of Elijah. Until Allah comes, I'm not a follower of nobody. I am that I am. And if somebody's trying to take my seat, like Joseph, take my birthright, and I explain my birthright how it is, and by me just explaining it, it's automatically in conflict with the one that you think that has the birthright. That's where the conflict comes in. So no, I'm not hard on him. He's hard on himself. He's still going to do what he got to do. By me being God saying nobody's going to hurt him, I'm the one that's bringing the pressure on him. He got to give it up because people is following him, and it's in the wrong direction. It's away from me. I don't keep mixing back up with white people, and we cannot sit here and wait. To the time to go without us proving that we're God for the rest of the world to see. Because when we leave North America and we go someplace else and we haven't done anything to show that we are God, the people where we go, we're not going to be respected as God or as real men. We're going to be expected, respected as people wanting a job or good workers. That's not who we are. So to prove that we are God, we got to do something here before I bring the fire. And we don't have much time. So they got to quit following somebody and go to work. That's why I enjoyed you all coming out. And if you all know the people that came and was a little anxious, let them know I'm not angry with them. They still have time. But next time, have a little, be a little bit more patient. Thank you all for coming. Give the greetings to Tallahassee for me. I'll be in Tampa tomorrow. So if anybody wants to scoop down there, we'll be there with Holiday Inn. Yes, we'll be at Holiday Inn again. I want to get in my own home because I got some things I want you to see, especially the rust I want you all to see something. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. If they carried me around the universe and showed me a little bit of everything and gave me a little knowledge of everything, if he got something that I haven't seen, I want to see it. So I'm going to make myself available as soon as possible. So I'm going to like you.